Good evening, Team Janipad. Hope you're feeling a little better, at least in Tattoo too. Hello, hi everyone, hello. I am gonna do my best today. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. <laughs> oh my god, that's her a real voice exposed. <laughs> that's her real voice, oh god. <laughs> oh, Ned, thank you for the 18 months, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I am, I am cozy right now. <laughs> I am very cozy. <laughs> Oh, I feel, I would say, at least better today than I did on the Sunday month. It's like, well, actually, wait, no, Monday. Monday is when I started feeling it. Oh, man. <laughs> thank you for the 18 months. Thank you. Thank you. I do feel a little bit better. I, I do. I do feel a little bit better. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm getting manhandled. <laughs> I'm getting getting manhandled in the classroom. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a bit better. I can actually... Uh, I can actually sit up. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't get COVID. My students don't don't get it. It sucks. COVID sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, a crunch. Uh, crunch was feeling it a lot more on the Sunday Monday, and then I felt it more so on the uh, Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> Uh, I okay so try not to cough challenge I don't know if I can do that I don't know if that's possible actually wait I can I can try I can try my best not to cough but I think if I like you know sniff <laughs> oh that's even worse probably you know what that's that's even for that's even worse <laughs> no no muting no muting challenge do not cough do not sniff <laughs> Do not blow snot into the tissues. <laughs> um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling a little bit better anyway. Oh, slur you. <laughs> oh, slurpy ASMR. <laughs> oh no. 
what have I been doing for the past few days? It's so funny because when I when I ended the ASMR stream on the Monday, I'm like, ah, oh, this will be fine. I think I can probably stream and everything. I took the whole week off of work. I think this is going to be okay. <laughs> I think that I can probably stream and play video games. How bad could this be? Oh, oh, it was bad. It was bad. It was, it was bad. <laughs> wrong. You're wrong. Wrong. <laughs> exactly. Um, I've had the worst, <laughs> the worst body aches in a very, very long time. And, uh, you, you know, like when you're sick and you feel like out of it, <laughs> like you're like, I, you're like, <laughs> um, yeah, that was, that was me a few days ago. Oh God. Um, I can't remember which day it was. Was it the Tuesday or the Wednesday? I slept for the most of the day. There was that one day I slept for like 12 hours. Was it the Tuesday night? I guess it was the Tuesday night. I slept for like 12 hours on and off. <laughs> Crunch also slept for a long time, too. Oh, I give her your energy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My voice might sound a little raspy, but I was kind of thinking, you know what? Today can be one of those, like, um, you know, if we can have a fun just chatting stream, we can kind of catch up. We can watch some YouTube videos is what I was thinking of, too, because we haven't really done one of those in a very, very long time. And... Happy American Thanksgiving! Happy American Thanksgiving! I hope that you guys have a really, really fun turkey day. I hope that you had some delicious turkey, and maybe if you didn't have turkey, maybe you, you had some pretty good ham, because ham is pretty good on Thanksgiving as well. Ham is real, really good on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Maybe you had some mashed potatoes, maybe you had some cranberry sauce with your mashed potatoes, maybe you had... um. What kind of veggies would people have? I don't know. <laughs> oh, thank you for gifting. Thank you. Zillio Omega gifted a tier one sub to Jiggly Lily. Oh. They have given 297 gift subs in the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for gifting. Oh, yeah. Carrots, carrots, corn, green beans. Yeah, th that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff right there. Maybe, maybe asparagus. Maybe. I think some people have asparagus, right? Oh gosh, give it yay! <laughs> Remember when Twitch had the chant feature? Oh, thank you, thank you for sending me your energy. Thank you for thank you for giving sensei uppies. <laughs> yeah, green beans pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good, right? They are pretty good. Oh man. I had um I had a uh, Papa Tenchi deliver um some COVID tests a few days ago, and then he also gave me some, uh, gave me some muffins as well. So I put some muffins in the freezer so I could eat some muffins after. <laughs> I need like a spirit bomb, yeah. <laughs> is that what I need? <laughs> oh, but the stuffing is the best part. You get to eat all the stuffing and the turkey. <laughs> but, um, what happened on... Okay, what was it? I didn't take the test on the Monday. Crunch took the test on the Monday, but uh, I took it on the Tuesday. And I thought it was actually negative, but then when I looked at it again, I'm like, oh, the line's just really faint. That actually means it's positive. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie, it was actually really faint. <laughs> yeah. It, sometimes it doesn't, like, appear right away. Yeah. So I had to, like, let it sit for a little bit longer. <laughs> Wet bread with, uh, you know what? You just probably need to have better stuffing with your turkey. Somebody's probably making the stuffing wrong. Stuffing is actually really good. <laughs> I can actually just eat stuffing by itself, probably. Like, like honestly, um, I don't think I've actually had like proper Thanksgiving like turkey stuffing until like I've had like Crunch's grandma's turkey stuffing. I think. I don't think I've actually had like good tur turkey stuffing before that, so yeah. <laughs> also, welcome everybody who's coming in. Welcome, welcome. I hope that you had some very, very yummy food. Oh my gosh, you guys have like interesting things back to back to back in the USA. You guys have like, okay, let's see. You have Thanksgiving on Thursday, and then you have what? What is okay? You have Black Friday, 
And I don't know if you have something on the Saturday, but... But then you have, like, football and sports ball on Sunday, right? You got, like, sports ball, sports ball, sports ball. Uh, yes, and then there's Cyber Monday. But then again, I guess, like, a lot of the sales and everything are already happening right now, right? <laughs> you watched the coffin of Andy and Lele fought and it was fun. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm happy that there's folks, like, coming back. I... Okay, it's... Okay. <laughs> I never expected that fought to be so... <laughs> I never expected that VOD to pop off, and I'm so happy. <laughs> that coffin of Andy and Lele VOD. Okay, guys, my students, when I upload VODs to YouTube... Okay, just a minute. I'm opening YouTube for just a moment. <laughs> um, I want to see how many views this has now. <laughs> pop off, Sensei, pop, pop off. <laughs> um, oh god, I have to, like, not shout <laughs> don't shout sensei use your indoor voice um oh my gosh i think it's gonna approach six thousand soon <laughs> that that game was really fun to play i'm happy that we played that during halloween 5.7k that's so fascinating also the people who leave youtube comments are very interesting people <laughs> It's usually, um, I think I've talked about it before with, I think, maybe Angel and maybe, I think a few other people who do mostly YouTube, like, you know, outside of Twitch. And I find it very interesting that some people, when they comment on YouTube, it's nothing to do with the video or anything. It's something, like, completely, like... <laughs> it's usually something like completely unrelated to the video <laughs> is this what it means to be a youtuber <laughs> maybe <laughs> um but any anyways i'm happy i'm happy that people had good experiences though with the vod because um it makes me really happy when there's new people that come by to our classroom mm -hmm. i'm happy when there's new people that come by um you blame- wait a minute, what? You blame the Steam reviews for the- <laughs> for the incest? Um... Did it- didn't the coffee- the coffin of Andy and Layla get like a higher rating than Boulder's Gate at some point? <laughs> that- that's so fun. I think- I think some people said that. <laughs> that's so funny. Man, people really love incest, don't they? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> I mean... Uh, you know, you you wouldn't call a Game of Thrones enjoyer like incest, um, uh, you know, I, I guess enjoyers, right? If just incest happens to be something that's in some media, you know, we have, um, we have media critical thinking skills. We have media literacy over here. I'm an English teacher. <laughs> I can teach you about, yeah, media literacy. <laughs> um... Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Oh, because what was the... Yeah, nobody would go after people who, like, play... Or, sorry, um... Watch Game of Thrones or read Game of Thrones to be like, You like incest or something. It's like, I don't... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, you're gonna watch the Slay the Princess VOD? Oh, yay. I had a really good time playing that game. I had a really good time playing that game. Um... We got so many endings. There's still a lot of endings in Slay the Princess as well. There's so... There's so many endings. <laughs> oh do they uh, do they like a certain anime uh -huh. there's here's the thing i think i've told you guys there's like anime and things that i do enjoy and i don't know if they're even appropriate to talk about on this website <laughs> i usually divulge a little bit more elsewhere i guess but even even then like man oh if i if i talk about like my some of my tastes in anime and like <laughs> things oh man oh vtuber twitter is gonna like um, put me at the stake, probably. <laughs> probably. Um, just, just, yeah, just know that, yeah, Sensei likes to enjoy many, many different sorts of media, I guess, yeah. <laughs> um, I've, start, I've started caring about Twitter less, yeah. I just, I just like to post positive things, or, yeah, things that are related. Mm -hmm. I guess you can probably see, I've, I've been keeping my Twitter nice. I've been, I've been behaving, yeah, I'm, I'm behaving nicely <laughs> um where were where, oh i, I kind of went on a tangent i guess a little bit about the coffin of andy and lele i look forward to the next episode that comes out i think it's next year i think it's next year sometime also 
yes yes there is um there is a black friday sale there's a black friday sale and also i have new merch Ooh, yippee oh actually wait a minute i can actually um wait a minute wait a minute hold hold how was my thanksgiving um my thanksgiving was last month in canada so i already had my thanksgiving but when i was sick and crunch was sick um crunch got us kfc two days ago i hope that counts <laughs> we got to have our own little mini thanksgiving <laughs> Um, our Thanksgiving in Canada was last month, but it was a good, it was a good one. It was a good one. Yeah, we, yeah, we had a finger looking good Thanksgiving. <laughs> I did not have the strength to cook. Yeah. You yeah, I, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling better now. I wouldn't say I'm like fully recovered. Um, you had it for like a week. Yeah, I think this is kind of like day three or four for me. I think it's like day three or four. I'm kind of like at the tail end of it. Yeah. I'm okay enough to sit up and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> um, da, 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 here's something new. Oh gosh, not the not. Okay, wait, I can't put the not safe for work one on. <laughs> um, da, 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 shaker cup. Yippee. I drew this. I drew that. You can pick up a Tane shaker cup. It's out. It's out. There's a new shaker cup now. Yeah. So all the people who like to go at the gym or maybe if you don't like going to the gym and you want to have a gamer cup, like a, like a Oshi cup. Actually, we're calling them Oshi cups. So, yeah, <laughs> you can put it by your gaming setup. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to buy it. Yay. <laughs> I drew the picture. I drew it. I, um, let me see if I can enlarge that a bit. Yippee! I drew that. Wow, she's so dominating. <laughs> yeah, she's enhanced. She's so dominating. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so far, we have, we have a few cups that are released right now. We have, um... We have Amai's cup, Vivi's cup, Yozo's cup, and my cup. And I, there's going to be one more, I think, by this weekend. By this weekend. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. But, but wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Um, I can show this one. This is the safe for work side. Oh, uh, that you discovered cutest teacher. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um... I would be blush. Well, actually, I guess I'm already blushing because I'm sick. <laughs> I, I blush harder now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm happy that the streams put a smile on your face. That's good. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Um. Safer work side. Yay. This is the safer work side. I can't I can't show you the not safer work side. <laughs> um, you can see it on the you can see it on the website, though. You can see it on the website. Oh! Ara, ara, ma, ma. Yay! Happy US Thanksgiving since they are. I'm thankful to be a part of this community these last Aww. 17 plus months still. Yeah. Oh yay! You! You! Thank you! Thank you for the 17 months. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here for 17 months as well. That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you. A side B. A side B is very boobly. <laughs> You know, like that, you know, like when um, male erotic writers like write women when they're like, ah, she breasted boobily, you know? Yeah, that's uh, that's what the other side of the Dakimakura looks like. <laughs> it's it's very boobily. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the artist did a really incredible job. Crunch was the one that picked out the artist. Mm -hmm. Cr Crunch was the one that picked out the artist. So yeah. Mm hmm. Boobly, boobly, very boobly. Oh, we're thankful for Oh my god. Ah. Oh, thank you for being here, everyone. Is this a love making pillow for heads? I mean, actually, wait, are we going to do a Daki keychain of it too? I don't. Wait, are we going to do a Daki keychain of it? 
Crunch is like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I guess we'll have to see if we can do a Daki keychain of this one too. For the folks that don't want to maybe have a full Daki displayed. Maybe a microscopic Daki? You know what's actually really cute? The the keychain Dakis, they're like the right size for a Nendoroid to hold, which is really cute. They're like the perfect size for a Nendoroid to hold. <laughs> Hello! Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Um, so this is the new one. This is the new one. This is kind of like, uh, the comfy one. I've, I've been meaning to put out merch of the, uh, like the sweater, the comfy sweater outfit. Um, this one. I'm not, I'm not wearing it right now. I'm not wearing it right now, but, um... The one that you see during the ASMR streams. Comfy inside sensei. <laughs> casual, casual sensei. When she's not in the classroom. <laughs> so there's going to be an acrylic standee as well. So yeah. So there is uh, the cup, the pillow, and acrylic standee. Yeah. So those are three new things. Wow, Sensei! New merch after... What was it? Two years? I want to say like a year and a half. Yeah, I guess a year and a half would be more accurate. <laughs> Yay! New Sensei merch. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way... By the way... um, The old Daki? Um, the old Daki... Once it's sold out, it's sold out. We're not going to order any more of it. Um, so if you do want to get the old one, get it soon because we're not ordering anymore. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of like the whole thing with the websites. Like it's exclusive stuff. Yeah. Exclusive stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get it, yeah, you got to get it before it's sell. Uh, actually, how many, how many do we have right now? Uh, Crunch is gonna tell me how many. Yeah, <laughs> for <laughs> for whoever doesn't. Yeah, exactly. For whoever doesn't have it, mm -hmm. because I think we've done two restocks. I think of that that older Daki. So yeah, mm -hmm. we did like a few restocks of that older one because people really liked it. But um, but now the new one. Now the new one's coming out. Ooh, spicy. I can't show you on Twitch.tv what the other side looks like, but you're just yeah yeah. Oh, so there is a couple of the non-older loot one? And about a dozen of the... The very loot one. Mm, the very loot one. So there's about a dozen left of that one. So there we go. So get yours now. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> yeah. Aw, help me through. Aw, newer and better meaning. Aw, yay. Mark says, I'm happy that you're doing a lot better and everything is, you know, going your way. Everything's going your way. I'm happy. I'm, ha I'm happy that you are doing a lot better. And I'm, ha I'm happy that you've been enjoying your time here, too. That makes me really, really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you were streaming. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I feel like actually talking has been kind of like helping a little bit more too, kind of like keeping me focused. <laughs> Good to see everyone. Hello. I think there's a lot of folks that are just joining right now. I was just talking about the new merch. I was just talking about that. Um, I was kind of thinking this week was a little bit of a disaster. <laughs> this week was kind of a disaster because we wanted to announce everything on Monday. <laughs> We wanted to tell everyone on Monday, and then we both got COVID. <laughs> um, but then, uh, yeah, everything everything got announced yesterday. So, um, it just yeah, we just needed some time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, so yeah, there's um, I think a few more things gonna, that are going to be released for pre-order from another like by another creator. Um, dr uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow or weekend? Yeah, tomorrow or weekend. Yeah. Mm hmm. But yeah, um, I guess, what were we talking about before? I guess a little bit of like the coffin of Andy and Lele. <laughs> um, I just realized, 
I think the music has been a little bit too high, has it? I don't know if it's been too high. Mm, water, thank you for redeeming water. I saw that somebody else redeemed water 13 minutes ago. I will take double sippies. Oh, yes, we were on the topic of incest. <laughs> that's that's what we were on the topic of. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Ah. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Huh? Oh yeah, we're just just talking about like casual casual cannibalism and casual siblings um enjoying cannibalism with each other. Yeah. Why is it that the incest is more controversial than the cannibalism in that game? They eat so many people. <laughs> like they're like, "Oh yeah, this is fine. Let's let's eat more people." <laughs> mm. Why why are we so based? <laughs> No, 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 no. I I cannot call myself base because once you call it, I can't call myself base because then if I do, then it's uh, then it doesn't work anymore, right? You you guys have to call me base. I can't call myself base. That's how it works, right? <laughs> oh, rather than eating each other. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if that that would actually be maybe the perfect way how the game ends. Either one of them eat each other is. What what would be the better way to show your love for someone if you can't even eat them? Y you know? <laughs> maybe maybe depending like how far things go, like one of them probably eats the other one. It would probably be Ashley. Ashley would probably eat Andy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe at maybe at the same time, maybe. Actually, you know what? That kind of reminds me. There was like this one anime or anime OVA that I never finished watching. I think it was called Pupa, like Pupa or Pupa. It was about this girl that was eating the flesh on her brother. And I don't remember if it got like an entire season or something. I think it was like a few episode OVA. Yeah, it was it was kind of cursed. <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of, yeah. Yeah, there was that one. I can't remember. That came out like, I don't know, several years ago or something. Yeah, I think I, I, think I watched it when I was in. I think <laughs> other things that we probably should have never watched at the anime club at university. <laughs> Um, we, oh, I've told, I've told you guys this before. We used to, okay, we used to have an anime club at our local university, and I, I was the president for a few years, and holy crap, the, the things that we were watching in the auditorium, oh, man, we, we watched Kiss Exis in the auditorium at our university <laughs> anime club. Man, we were so fucked. <laughs> so fucking degenerate. <laughs> um, we watched a- oh my god. Uh, we watched a lot of other, like, harem shows, too. <laughs> and- <laughs> no, we were so- I would say we were so fucked up. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to think of some of the other shows that we watched at the anime club that we definitely should not have <laughs> watched in like a public space. Um, there was like a like there were so many harem shows around that time. Oh, do you guys remember when there was like all those like little sister shows like Ori Emo and like all those ones? No, we've never watched like Bible Black or anything like that at the anime club. That's too far. No, 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 no. You, um, we would, we would never watch something like that at the anime club. That would be something that we would watch after. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What is the worst thing we watched at the anime club? Like back when we were in university and college. Because <laughs> I was thinking Kiss Exis was probably like the least socially acceptable thing to watch in public. <laughs> I say public, but like, it was like an auditorium of like only a few of us who like rented out the space, basically. <laughs> mm. I'm trying to think of maybe what would have been. I don't know if there would have been something more socially unacceptable than Kiss Exis. Oh, B, B got to HK? Maybe. Probably. It was it was pretty sexual. Yeah, that's probably another one that probably would have been. Um. 
Oh, um, so Soro Soro Shimono? The flying panty one? Oh, with all the angels? Um, there was that one too. <sighs> Yosuku no Sora. No, I think I watched that on my own time. <laughs> no, we, we, no, we did we? Oh no, we watched the first episode and then we re Oh, and then we and then we realized it was poor! <laughs> No, I remembered that. We did. We watched the first episode of that, actually. <laughs> of, um... <laughs> of Yosuga, uh, Yosuga no Sora. <laughs> and then we were like, oh shit, this is actually poor. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> you missed Bigata HK. It was interesting. It was it was kind of a cute show. Yeah, it was kind of a cute show. Um... Did we watch any of High School DD? I think we watched a bit of High School DD as well at the Anime Club, and I'm trying to remember if there was any other ones that we watched without, um... Because they always do, like, those Blu-ray censorship stuff. Like, you would have to get the Blu-ray copy to get around the titty censorship, basically. Yeah, the light beams. Um... When I reveal a future swimsuit, I, I will have light beams. But yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have light beams, everyone. <laughs> You're gonna have to buy the Blu-ray version. <laughs> I will. I will have light beams coming out of everywhere. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I okay. I need water. Sorry. I've been. I've been shouting a little bit. Mm. <clears throat> this was supposed to be oh, ooh, ooh, a six stream, and then I get all excited talking to everyone. <laughs> Uh, doesn't it have a visual novel? It does. Yeah, Yosuka, Yosuka no Sora actually has a visual novel. <gasps> is is that is that morally acceptable that I can play on the other website? I don't know if I can. Actually, no, I don't think I can. I don't know if it falls under their TOS, actually. <laughs> I don't think, actually, actually, I don't think I can play that on the other website. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I'll have to I'll have to look into that. <laughs> the other website has a TOS. They do. They they do. Yeah. <laughs> there are certain things. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's on Crunchyroll? Wait, but is it uncensored on Crunchyroll? Question mark? Is it? Oh wow, Crunchyroll, you sussy. <laughs> Crunchyroll, you sussy as fuck. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Well, that, that is very fascinating, then. Well, you know what? If it's if it's fiction, they can probably buy, you know, they can bypass it and everything, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. You smell a watch party? <laughs> Me, maybe, maybe. It could just be, like, filthy anime degenerates and stuff. Oh, okay. Actually... This is something that I was thinking about talking on stream, but I didn't know if I wanted to bring it up or not. But, um, um, K-pop fans. <laughs> some, some people who enjoy K-pop enjoy it a little bit too much. Apparently, there is this one guy group or something. There was this one group that said that they liked Made in Abyss. And Made in Abyss is a good series. It is a good series. I actually haven't watched the second season yet, but I read ahead in the manga. Made in Abyss is a good series. Now, the K-pop people are trying to cancel their own K-pop idols because they like Made in Abyss. <laughs> oh, they're trying to cancel like their own like K-pop idols because they because they like Made in Abyss because like the characters like look very young you know apparently they mentioned that they watched it recently oh my god yeah so they're trying to cancel them for being like how dare you like made in abyss <laughs> now the other thing is that apparently they're trying to also like there's apparently some k-pop people that are apparently supposed they're trying to cancel people who like jujutsu kaisen and things like that too right they're like, no, you can't enjoy Jujutsu Kaisen because they're minor characters. <laughs> and it's like, huh? How does that... What? So, 
they're trying to like cancel anybody who likes to watch anime basically <laughs> yeah they're trying to like cancel people who watch anime as a whole and i'm like what the fuck is happening <laughs> anyway so i thought it would yeah be nice to just talk about more anime and stuff like you know because we are anime enjoyers and seasonal anime enjoyers and everything so yeah you love you love twitter cancel culture gotta love it it's 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 always a thing right <laughs> people people out of control anime is evil i know yeah what else is what else is new right what the what else is new <laughs> oh speaking of jujutsu kaisen i want to watch more of it we've only watched i think like two episodes of it yeah we gotta we gotta watch some more jujutsu kaisen mm -hmm. there's like what two two seasons or i don't know if there's three seasons out now I'm a little bit behind on shonen anime, though. They become a new incarnation of- yeah! Oh, there's- there's a lot of people on the internet that are very, like, reactionary. It's very weird. Or they're just like, oh, you like this one thing, therefore you must be evil, you know? You know? <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, it's- it's weird. It's odd. It's okay. Don't, don't worry, everyone. We have an anime safe space over here, okay? We can we can talk about anime. <laughs> I'm a VTuber. I love anime. <laughs> and then I remembered that some VTubers actually don't watch anime. <laughs> Sometimes it's okay to gatekeep. Right, everyone? <laughs> Sometimes it's okay. <laughs> Those VTubers are heretics. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Cancel the non- cancel the non-anime VTubers. Oh, can we- can we? <laughs> can we? <laughs> sometimes- sometimes I almost like want to go up to like some VTubers and be like, what was the, what was the last anime you watched? <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, that's- that's not important though. It's, it's- it's absolutely okay to gatekeep sometimes. Sometimes it's- sometimes it's good for people's hobbies. Sometimes people just ruin- other people's hobbies, you know? <laughs> um, yes, I will, I will have the unpopular opinion. Yeah, it's okay. Any, anyway, um, oh, let's see here. I was thinking we can kind of have a little bit of a cozy time. I brought up some Japan videos because I'm getting excited about, ah, uh, I, I'm not going to be traveling to Japan for several months, but I found some YouTube videos. We can kind of do like a fun watch along and everything. Yeah, we can do like a fun like watch along. Do some chit chats. Yeah. Small house videos. Um, Funny that you mentioned that because I actually, there was a video I found where it's like inside of a $12,000 a month Tokyo penthouse. <laughs> I've watched a lot of small house videos on um, Tokyo Lens's channel. Um, I don't know if he's uploaded anything recently, though, because I, I usually watch a lot of his stuff like on my own time. But um, yeah, I, I like I, I, I love Tokyo Lens. I, I love everything he puts out. Um, Crunch uh, showed me his channel. I think it was like several months ago. So, yeah. Yeah, so let's see. Let's... um. Let's get com let's get comfy and I will try not to crack my voice and you know <laughs> um let's have a nice I don't know a nice succubus sensei hangout yeah and it's been so long since we've done react andy stuff I've I've been trying really hard not to I've been trying really hard not to be a react andy or like you know that kind of thing but um, today's an exception. I'm allowed to be sick. <laughs> I'm allowed. I'm allowed to be a react dandy today. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm self-imposing my own rules now. <laughs> I like your react dandy stream. Thank you. Thank you. I do. I do pause champ a lot. So. <laughs> oh, you're back from Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh. Is everybody? Let's let's all go into a food co coma. Okay. You are allowed to get cozy and go into a food coma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've earned my I've it's just like when you like you earn your beer. I've earned my React Andy stream today. Yeah. <laughs> 
Also, happy Black Friday. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll, on the other side of the world, it's um Black Friday on the other side of the world right now. <laughs> oh, thank you. Everybody, everybody approves of me being a React Andy today. I feel so much better. <laughs> okay, I will pause the music then. Now, the thing is, though, I feel like this takes up a lot of screen real estate, and I am a little unsure, but I will... I, I kind of... What, what do you guys think? You want to you wanna keep the little... You want to you wanna keep the cozy blankie on? Yeah, keep the cozy blankie on? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, tried out a new flavor then. Oh, you're not tired. Yay, not tired. I actually need to drink some of my brand risk. I need to drink some brand risk at some, like more. I I've only had like a few cups of it. <laughs> ba -ding. Ba -ding. I must eat be soon. Enjoy the videos and don't push yourself too much since a ton head pat. Yay! Oh, oh, Derpy, thank you. Thank you so, thank you so much for head pat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. Okay, I think I am in a okay position right now. There we go. Um, let's see. I will, I will move if I am too too big happy turkey day happy turkey day also have a good night derpy have a good night tax has been paid oh my god derpy derpy pig you're being a little good civil um derpy <laughs> where was i going with this a good upstanding derpy citizen <laughs> you you are doing your civic duty by paying your taxes good job good good job derpy you will go to bed. <laughs> you you are an upstanding derpy citizen. <laughs> Crunch is like, oh my god, that sounds insulting. <laughs> no, it's in the username, so it's okay. <laughs> okay, I think I'm. I think this is fine. I'm not taking up that much uh, screen real estate. Okay, <laughs> citizen of derpy bill. <laughs> Stop! He's already dead. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I think we have. Why are the subtitles in Spanish? Nakamegoro. This is the neighborhood of the stars in Tokyo, and right behind me is Nakamegoro Atlas Tower, by far the tallest building. Why is it in Spanish? <laughs> I mean, not that I'm not that I'm complaining, but okay. Around here, we're going to see the penthouse today, which is actually for rent, and it is absolutely magnificent. <gasps> what the? Oh man, sorry. Oh, they have a bar, and they oh they have a nice lookout with the okay. But before we do, let's go. <gasps> oh, sorry, I'm gonna go back for just a moment. Behind me is Nakamegoro Atlas Tower, <clears throat> by far the tallest building around here. We're going to see the penthouse today, which is actually for rent, and it is absolutely- Sorry, I just wanted to point out one thing. It's so misty and cloudy. Sometimes when you're in Japan, you will never see Mount Fuji because of like how cloudy and foggy it is. So if you ever get a chance to actually see Mount Fuji, you're lucky. You're very lucky. <laughs> Maybe if we chip in, I can rent it. Oh, man. Can I be like one of those influencers that's like, I paid $12,000 so I can show you guys this penthouse. <laughs> can I can I be the VTuber of Mr. Beast? You know? <laughs> Anyway. Magnificent. But before we do, let's go see the neighborhood. Listen, you have to put at least five figures um in your YouTube title or else it doesn't matter. Apparently that's actually like a thing. You actually have to put at least five figures or people will not click on your video. <laughs> uh case in point, I clicked on the video. <laughs> Nakamegoro is well known for its low rises and narrow roads dotted with shops and restaurants. So yeah, this building really stands out. I've covered this neighborhood countless times on the channel, but there's always more things to say about it. Directly near the building is Banh Mi Baba, my favorite Banh Mi restaurant in the city. 
If you go, get the pork pate, ham, and chicken mix bomb me with extra chilies. You won't regret it. Nearby, there's- Ooh, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Also, Kaiser, you are a bad boy. You are a very, very bad boy. Oh, wait, should I do like a cough count? <coughs> bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> mm. There's also the Gems Building with its many great restaurants, notably the Nakameguro branch of Katsu, one of the best rated conveyor belt sushi places in Tokyo. You'll also be walking this into Trasparente, a bakery that makes one of the few good baguettes here, and just- Ooh, we got some baguettes and stuff too. Sorry, I don't know if it's too loud. I could turn it down more if it's like, um, if it's, uh... <laughs> oh, it was a Oh, that's okay. You're fine. You're fine. Cough into their- Oh, God, no. I don't want to spread my cooties around, no. You can- you can get the cooties from the other students, but I don't think you want Sensei's cooties. Down the street from that is the unbelievably popular donut stand. <laughs> I'm donut? Wait, I'm donut? Regularly Hello? gets hour-long lines. Get one of those and wash it down with a cup of coffee from Onibus? On Onibus? Onibus? No, not really sure, but great coffee. Either. Oh, thank you. I'm feeling yeah, a bit better. Mm -hmm. And now we're inside up on the 45th floor. I have to say, it takes a little while to get up the elevator, but once you're up here, you can see you have a grandiose entrance, of course, with the marble floors and everything. But right next to that is, of course, like in every great I, apartment or house. I am looking forward to seeing this whole layout, like, actually. That button is... Wait, what? That button's doing work? Wait, I want to go back. <laughs> but once you're up here, you can see you have a grandiose... Oh, is it because, like, he doesn't have the bottom one, like, buttoned up? Is that what? But look at <laughs> Crunch is like, this button do doing work right here. <laughs> oh, they, they go, they only go away when you spread them to someone else. Oh, that's, oh, that's what you got taught in anime. That's so true. Let's all hold hands, okay? Um, you can, you can have Sensei's cooties now. Also, Kaz, hello, happy Thanksgiving to you. I saw your Thanksgiving message. Aw, I hope you're having a very, very good day. My Ototo. <laughs> of course, with the marble floors and everything, but right next to that is, of course, like in every great He's always Japanese dressed so nice. House, a pretty damn I mean, he's a realtor, so I guess he would be. Shoe closet. But this is quite That's normal. a shoe closet? What I would say, though, is that you have something a little bit less normal on this side, which is, as I That's huge. my shoes out of the way, this. A walk-in coat closet. And, oh. you know, that's pretty much the norm in every country in the world. But in Japan, it is... Oh my god, I feel like those two things alone would be, like, in enough storage for, like, a small Japanese, like, apartment. Like, I, I don't think people would even own that many clothes, probably. I don't know. And that's just, like, the front storage, like, area for, like, shoes and stuff. Damn surprisingly hard to find a place with a coat closet so as you can see inside um here, you have to have a single pair of shoes for every single day of the month okay you it can't be every single day of the week it has to be every single day of the month oh but if your shoes get dirty you throw them away and you buy new ones okay yeah you can't you can't have dirty shoes everyone you have to throw them out and you have to buy new ones <laughs> Here you have all these different individual kind of cubbies so you can separate out the coats for your mother, your sister, your friends, your family, doesn't really matter who. Coats are coats and this is where they go. And right outside here you can see the very grandiose hallway, a uh, very long hallway, I'm gonna show you how long in a minute. And why is it so long? Holy well, crap, that's a long this hallway. This basically takes up the entire western side of this. You don't need money, only shoes. I mean... Shoes are an investment, just like handbags and stuff. Actually, Crunch, wasn't there like an IRL friend of ours that have like some Yeezys? He buys Yeezys. Um, oh, shoot. Or did buy? Oh, I have a gift. I have a, I have a gift. I think it should be fine to show it, show it on. I have a gift. <gasps> Silence. Yay! Pedicure. Oh my gosh. A little something for when I'm feeling better. Yay! <laughs> oh, thank you. I will immediately go for one as soon as I'm feeling better. Thank you, Silent. <laughs> Yay. Also, Stellara. 
Stellar, what if I sped on you at the very top of this building? <laughs> okay, Stellara, open, open wide. <laughs> Stellara, I don't know if you want my spitties right now, honestly. They are... They are vile spitties. <laughs> okay, open wide. <laughs> Crunch is like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> oh. This building, so it's a very, very long area. And just coming down here, we'll hit each room one by one. Right through here, you have those doorknobs are nice. Ominous room with no windows whatsoever. And well, would you? I guess you can put a little office in there, but it's right next to the storage room. What would you put there? I don't know what you would put there. Huh. I would use this maybe as like an extra closet or <gasps> an extra closet. How many? Mm, how many people are living in this penthouse? How many people would be living in this penthouse? <laughs> kind of studio thing. If you're into, I don't know. That's the streaming room streaming or something like that. That's a good little place to have it. Soundproof. <laughs> freaking freaking Joe's Connor. Oh yeah, you should like this. This could be a streaming room. <laughs> Next one, right down here. You have. <laughs> The first thing that comes to my mind when I come back home is, oh, I need to use the bathroom. And here is said bathroom. It's right next to the entrance, which is great. Has its own sink, has its own little... It, do it doesn't have a mirror. I can't even look at myself when I'm washing my hands. Zero out of ten penthouse. Area right over here. And of course, it's one of the happy toilets. It just opens right up for you. Now... It's like a little powder room, and I guess. Right here to my left is actually by far the best part of this apartment. We'll get to that later. But before we do that, let's go see the main bathroom. Oh, okay. So right next to the bathroom, I want to show you this one door that we have right here. So you can see it's a big mirror. And why is this kind of door thing here? I always love when they get the camera person like in shot, like whether it's like accidentally or, you know, on purpose, I guess. But... <laughs> Interesting. They probably have the mirror to just kind of like make it like look more, I don't know, less closed off, I guess. It's because in Japan, if a building is too tall, you need to divide up the rooms with a firewall. This is mm. considered a firewall. It's fireproof. And they decided to put a mirror on this, which is kind of nice. I've never seen a mirror on one of these, but you can take a look at yourself before you go out and uh, have a nice night at the town. But right next to that is this, which is not the bathroom. It's actually the laundry room. And Basically, mm. like every other place in Japan that's for rent, this does not come with a washer or dryer. You just have this guy right here, which is where you stick your washer and dryer. You have a drain down there and a little water spout up here. And once you're done with that, you can, well, uh, fold all of your clothes. Can't you just get the pores to do the, the laundry for you? <laughs> can't you just, can't you just get the pores to, um, um, <laughs> do the dry cleaning for you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I think I think about it. If you are living in a penthouse and you're just like, oh yes, the pores can go do that. <laughs> you, <laughs> you have to have listen, listen. <laughs> it's like when we watch like the other penthouse. <laughs> it's like when we watch the other penthouse. Um videos before <laughs> there's like separate back entrances to people's penthouses and areas that are behind the kitchen area and the laundry area so you don't have to look at the pores <laughs> right over here. i say this facetiously please <laughs> maybe put some towels or something into there too it's, it's true it's nice. true so in this laundry room you don't just have your washing machine area <laughs> over there but you have a sink over here too if you need to do a little extra cleaning of something but right next to that is one of my favorite features of this apartment and to be honest it really shouldn't be a feature it's um it it's in all those like new york um those new york penthouses the new york city ones yeah why would you look at the unwashed mess <laughs> the unwashed masses <laughs> in japan this is considered a feature it is the second <laughs> toilet which just like the first one is very happy to see us opens right up right when you come in and says hi to you so uh, goodbye see you later 
And right next to that is, well, the actual bathroom bathroom. So come on over here. It is oh, okay, there's the mirror. Spacious. This is a two bedroom, one and a half bath. And here is your grandiose bath. Of course, you have the dual vanity set up with the marble countertops as well. And what looks like a lot of storage, it's not that much. It's only really here, here, and the one over to the left. But it is plenty of storage. Little uh, medicine cabinet for all of your cosmetics or whatever you may have in there. That's that's pretty. That's a lot of storage actually. But you do also for have like, this storage yeah. over here just for linens and all that. That's kind of stuff so. Too. My favorite. That's part so much. For towels and stuff. The glass door leading into your very spacious bath suite. Something out of a nice hotel or something in Japan. As you can see, extremely spacious. Uh, I would say probably big enough for the cameraman to fit in as well. Why don't you come on in and see if you can fit in here, actually. Come on. Yeah. Oh, there cozy! This is a first for the channel. Oh, buddy guys. time! Oh, don't, do, don't show that on camera. Uh, a first for the channel. Cameraman. Oh, he, un he unbuttoned his blazer. He, he unbuttoned it. <laughs> yeah, ba yeah, bathing with the homies? Yeah. In the tub with me. But as you can see, very spacious, and right behind the camera, and you can't actually see on my side, is a TV, so you can watch all the Tokyo portfolio videos you'd like. Oh, very nice. Enjoying your bath. <gasps> that's a, so, okay. That's the thing that I find really nice in like Japanese bathrooms, or at least for like the home bathrooms and stuff. They always show that you can have like a little TV, or they have like a little device where you get to heat up the, you get to heat up the water, and then there's certain settings like that you can do for the bath and everything. In like certain certain apartments and certain places, yeah. So one thing before we go into the bedrooms, I just want to show you here. And I you I, videos, I love abroad in Japan as well. This little panel right here, which allows you to dry the bath and all that. One thing that this has that most places don't is this button. It says sauna. So if you press this, then that guy opens up, and this whole thing basically becomes a steam sauna. That's pretty cool. So coming into the smaller of the two bedrooms, you can notice right away that it's actually not that small. It's a pretty decent size for a bedroom, at least over here. But what you will notice is you have uh, a lot of stuff over here. And this is exactly, I guess, well, exactly as it looks. It's all- I guess they uh, have like a whole like bunch of- In the kitchen. Uh, they have recently oh. renovated, but they haven't actually taken all this stuff out. It's just being here for a little bit, but don't worry. By the time you move in, this will all be cleared out. I guess they, they haven't really set up like kitchen stuff yet and things. So coming out of the second bedroom, or smaller of the two bedrooms, you can see that this is where the master bedroom is. And oh boy, it's big. It's real big, in fact. This is basically the size if you include the closet. That would be a nice view like from like master bedroom. Apartment. Somebody who just moved to yeah, that's a decent sized master like bedroom. Square meters or so. Yeah, for and Japan. You can see, this is yeah. the headboard for what used to be a bed right here. <laughs> this is a king size headboard, and there's plenty. Oh, of all the homies will bond and have bath time. There's definitely a TV right in front, and right over here, of course, with any nice bedroom has a very nice walk-in closet. Well, yeah. One thing I like about this there's the walk-in closet. Like these little French doors over <laughs> Crunch is like, eh. <laughs> but one thing you definitely need if you are going but is to it big for Japan, a though? nice bedroom in a nice penthouse yeah. is, of course, a beautiful Pretty average view. for North America, though. The mm. balcony. As you can see, it's quite wide. It goes all the way from here to the end of uh, basically where the living room is, which is oh. where we go next. But yeah, you can see you have this sprawling view of Tokyo to the left over there. Okay, wait. Here, Next. let's. But yeah, you can see you have. I, I like that the most replayed is the view. Right, right here. <laughs> Yay, bath time with the homies. Let's go. Okay. What? Yeah, here is here. Okay, Stellara, I'll spit on you over here. I'll just, yeah, I'll just, yeah. <laughs> this is where you get to spit on people. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, let's see. Where is this exactly? Could you tell Crunch with the skyline a little bit or no? Maybe not quite. Apparently it's supposed to overlook Mount Fuji. Yeah, it's also like a foggy day, kind of. Yeah. 
sprawling view of Tokyo. <laughs> to the left over there, you have Sanginjaya. To the middle, you also have Shibuya, that area, and then Shinjuku to the right. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, Crunch is like, you know where it is now. <laughs> oh, there was a, a, a sicky cutie. Oh, thank you. I, I am I am sick. Thank you for the well wishes. <laughs> right. But on a clear day again, yes, you would be able to see Mount F On a good day, that's what we're supposed to be seeing. Okay. Oh, Crunch is locating it on Google Maps. <laughs> okay. So this is why... When people do apartment tours or like house tours and stuff like on YouTube, it's smart when you do this after you move because uh, people like Crunch will find where this is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's people who just like know what Google Maps looks like. <laughs> He's like, oh, I know that skyline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't show windows. If you know any like creators or anything, like don't show anything. Like, <laughs> hey there, Annie Bell. Hello, hello. Oh, he he he's looking right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you would be able to see Mount Fuji, and I'm very mad that today is so overcast. But what are you gonna do now? Let's go see the best part of this apartment: the living room. Living room. Ooh. And now we're in the kitchen, which is right next to, of course, my favorite part, right over there. But as you can see, it's very long and uh, wide, but also it has more or less the standard features of a Japanese kitchen, which would be a three burner gas stove, very nicely done. Mm. And of course, the fish grill, which you can use the for fish, fish grill. pizza, toast, whatever you like. And well, something you don't really see in too many Japanese apartments or houses is this right here, which is a full size a full dishwasher wow i'll take it <laughs> and i am not joking when i say full size i AEG of the german company dishwasher which is very very nice to have actual here. dishwasher in japan yes, wow. that is of course seated below these beautiful countertops the same kind of marble that you saw in the bathroom uh, over there the vanity setup and as you can see you have this You know what? Good question. I'll have to see what he said at the very beginning. Crunch was like, what area did he say he was in? <laughs> oh. Oh, Crunch is like, I think I found the building. <laughs> Washer? I barely know her. <laughs> uh, uh, they don't do... Uh, they have actually dishwashers in Japan, but they're very, very tiny. They're like very, very small, tiny dishwashers. Yeah. This right here, which is pretty hard to find in Japan, a garbage disposal. And this is considered a feature in Japan because most places just... <gasps> oh, okay. So when I was feeling very sicky in bed uh, yesterday, I was watching van videos and there was like this couple that had a really, really nice van and everything looks super nice and minimalist and everything was perfect with one exception their sink was yellow like yellowed around the corners and i was like why didn't you clean this before you made the video <laughs> i don't know just me like picking out something like small i'm like everything else was absolutely perfect in this video and um, until like um the, it was just like the edge of their sink was like it, it was a it was a white sink too and it was all yellow around the corners i don't have this you really only find it in very new <laughs> and very uh, big apartment buildings and nice ones at that like this one is but right over here you can see you have uh, these kind of shelving units built into the wall and i just love them Right. If you look Stop really being closely, sick. You I, have brass I will do my best. <laughs> and doors right here, they slide very nicely. And if you look really closely, you can see that it has a Louis Vuitton-like pattern just kind of punched into this brass <laughs> plate right here, which just makes uh, it... Uh, wow, it has a, a Louis Vuitton kind of pattern. Um, this is where you could put your Louis. <laughs> very, very nice and goes with the rest of the living room, which we should go see right now. So right next to the kitchen, you see you have... Oh, no! <laughs> Crunch, wait. Wait, so that's what it looks like. Uh, is, is this it? Like here? 
Okay, wait, let's look at the very front. He was, like, around here when he did the... There's... Is there this here? Be behind? If I move down the street a little bit here. Okay. Okay. A little bit more. Right around here. Keep turning. That's so funny. I don't think there's anything shown. Oh shoot, I accidentally closed it. Fuck. Um here, give me a second. You're so funny. Um give me two seconds. I wish there was a way to media. <laughs> That's it. Can we can we get claps and chat for crunch? <laughs> that's uh that's that building. That's that. <laughs> but that goes but that goes to show like I know it's just like you know it's like a rental, you know, like video and everything, but like for people that ever do like apartment tours and like things like that, like never never show outside like the <laughs> Yeah. Crunch likes architecture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And city and city planning. Yeah. Cla yeah, claps and chat for Mr. Crunch fight. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> he found it. Uh where were we? The sink. Ah, we were right here. Right now. So right next to the kitchen, you see you have an actual breakfast bar. And this is a pretty good height, to be honest. I, I like how you can sit right here and not have to kind of hunch over while you're eating. And it even comes with three little chairs. And if you don't like these chairs, you can get your own, of course. But one thing I want to show is right Wait, here. The sound alerts were still off. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I not turn them on? Oh, I didn't turn them on. OK, my, my bad here. Let's see. <clears throat> that was the one thing that I forgot. I always turn everything off during ASMR streams. Here we go. Hello there. Ah, there we go. Also, anime, anime kawaii chan. I'm so sorry. That was 48 minutes ago. There was another hello there. I'm so sorry. Hello there. Sorry, that was from Anime Kawaii Chan 48 minutes ago and from Vampiro three minutes ago. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, Canadian, sorry. <laughs> you have this uh, very green area. Well, this is a reception area. This is like a welcoming area because at one point, well, one of the previous tenants kind of ran this as their office. So this is what the uh, people that were coming in to have a meeting would see when they first walked in. And I quite like having that. So right next to this little entranceway, this little welcome area, you can see you have a panel here, which just has a lot of different knobs. and That's a and lot design. of panels. These are the actual light switches for this room. Every one of them is here. And as you can see, they're all actually dimmable, which is pretty rare to find in Japan, in fact. But my favorite panel in this is this top guy right here, which is the floor heating. And I have to say, it is very nice and warm in here. I've had the floor heating on the entire time. Oh, but floor heating. Oh. As I said, the previous tenant nice. used this as an office. What a luxury. And the owner was okay with him uh, renovating the place and doing it exactly as he wanted, as you can see he did. And that's a pretty rare thing in Japan. So yeah, this is another perk of this place, is if you want to renovate it to the way that you want, then you can just have to let the owner know. So one thing that the owner decided to leave in here after <laughs> the previous time he left <laughs> is Look this guy right here. Little... Yeah, to be to be fair, um, when Crunch plans like our Japan trips and everything, like, yeah, he's like looking um, around like the cities and stuff for like things to do and everything. So yeah, you're you're just looking back at things in Nagoya. Good good job, Crunch. Good job. <laughs> I'll have a good lurk, Satanics. Have a good lurk. Game gaming oh, time. Gaming time. 
Well, it actually blows out hot air, which is pretty cool, but my favorite part is if you press this button right over here, you can actually change the color too. So it's blue now, or you could do it in <coughs> orange or red or <coughs> a different kind of blue with some yellow maybe. But yeah, it's completely up to you. So getting up from next to the fireplace, you can see you have a little table over here with an HDMI port. Why is that? Huh? If you HDMI look over here, cord. you can see where that cable travels all the way to, which is this guy right here. Very oh, nice. they have like a little Mario mushroom right here. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> Sony uh, brand new TV, very thin. LCD. Is this to like plug in when you have to have meetings and stuff in your penthouse? TV, and I love how that looks. And right next to that, of course, again, this was kind of like an office, so they use this as a conference room. If you don't like any furniture in here, you can uh, get rid of it. But this is one thing you definitely should not get rid of, uh, the super mushroom. I'm not quite sure why that is here. Now, the last feature of this room is right over here. He's cozy. You you he wants to be like in the middle of the table. Kind of smudgy uh, TV, or maybe like a large iPad, actually, built into the wall over here. If you just tilt this up a bit, press a button behind here hello hello folks coming in this is a bit more than that it is actually a smart whiteboard which what with this pen and eraser a smart you whiteboard right. wait so that means we could draw on it if we wanted to wow <laughs> we could draw on it also hey there lux hello i hope you're having a good good day Admittedly, I have very bad handwriting, but yeah, as it says, it's too bright. Yeah, portfolio. you know what? Um, I know that a lot of artists do this. I I do this. I put the background as gray, so then, okay. Well, when you're drawing on it, like with your sketch, it's okay to have your sketch like with the white background. But then, like when you want to go in like with coloring and stuff, it's good to have a gray background, so then it's not hurting your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> more videos like this now if we come over here <laughs> we can see what at the end of the day really is draw a pee pee on it yeah <laughs> which is the view and it's becoming nighttime but you can see the twinkling lights of the tokyo skyline <laughs> from here and unlike pretty much you're every doing you're chilling oh, that's Tokyo, good you really don't have anything near you to block your view so you just have completely free views of oh again, that's so nice mount fuji on a clear mount day, fuji. which you can't really get anywhere else well, this place is listed for 1.65 million yen a month, and well, that comes out to about twelve thousand dollars. There you go. Anybody who has twelve thousand USD a month, go get yourself a penthouse, uh, in Tokyo. There you go. Actually, you know what? To be fair, um, depending on where it is in Tokyo, that actually might be an okay price for some people. <laughs> Tokyo is actually pretty expensive, depending. <laughs> actually, that actually might not be terrible for some places. <laughs> Among these days, it's pretty pricey, but you get <laughs> the best view in all. Yeah, of don't you want to have a good view? You don't have to eat. You just have to have a nice view. Tokyo, and a lot more yeah. For that. If you want to learn more about this property, it's actually listed on our website. So look in the link in the description below. You can also follow. Oh, us Crunch! I could have just linked it to you. I guess I apparently it was in the description of the YouTube. That's uh, okay. He 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 found it on his own. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. See, Crunch is really good with GeoGuessr. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever the hell you like. And of course, subscribe to Tokyo Portfolio, just as the sign says. Until next time, thanks for watching. You have a video for me to watch? You have a video for me to watch, is that right? Uh, what song are you listening to? Oh, shoot. Okay. Today, I'm in Kabikicho, the largest red light district in the world, which is also one of the most dangerous areas in Tokyo. And I'll be asking people what song they're listening to. Hopefully, I don't get into any trouble today. Oh, and we have subtitles. Okay. If you want to see how we make these videos. Now, let's get to it. Why did it default to 480? <laughs> Wake up in the sky by I'm, I'm just gonna say this now, Doombringer. I've already watched all of to uh, Tokyo Lens's uh, playlists. I've I've already watched them all on my own time, and we've watched a few of them on. Uh, we watched a few of them actually. Uh, I think it was several months ago. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I watched them. <laughs> as soon as I see them, I watch them immediately. <laughs> 
Maine. This is this is why we can't do media share because I find that like if if people were to submit stuff, I'll be like, I watched it, I watched it, I watched it. <laughs> すいません。何の曲聞いてますか?ノンブレーズオブリージョン。オブリージュ。オブリージュ。え、アーティストはオカロなんで。オカロ?おお、it's oh, a Miku. Oh, that's so funny. Miku was in there and also hi Miku. Hello Miku. <laughs> Hi honey, hi honey, hi honey. Horse by tomorrow together. He's listening to a pickup artist. Oh, okay. The puzzle by my first story. Oh. I feel like this would actually be really good to like discover some new music actually. Aww. Aww, cute. スノーアレグラっていう。ありがとうございます。好きな歌詞って。え、なんだろう。一番最近のやつ全然いいですよ。ピッタケ。山の木だけ。ありがとうございます。ま、何の曲聞いてますか?ミュージカルファン。ミュ
Excuse me, すみません今、What song are you listening to? 今何の曲聴いてますか Palace Curse by Tyler the Internet. あと、Tyler the Creator。ありがとうございます。うん。おっ Jesse1221 gifted a tier 1 sub to Briai and Thumbnipotent God. They have given 776 gift subs in the channel. Yay, Jesse, thank you for gifting. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Aw, yay, and I went to Brian. Yay. <laughs> Aw. I, I did eat some yummy soup a while ago. I felt like I couldn't eat like a full thing of soup, so I had like a little tiny, like Lipton cup of soup. What do you listen to? Anime. Anime, what? ありがとうございます。すいません、今何の曲聞いてますか？もうなんかわかんないです。なんか日は元登るから。日は元登るんですか？わかりました。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。すいません、今何の曲聞いてますか？クリープハイプのしお
。花本さんありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。すいません今何の曲聞いてますかあ,あ、ハリースタイルスで聞いてます。あ、すいません。どうするのかいありがとうございます。すみません、今何の曲聞いてますかちょっと待って。はい、<笑>今はエドシーランのパーフェクト。パーフェクトいい曲ですね。ありがとうございます。はいはいはい、す,いすみません、今何の曲聞いてますか着物係の気まぐれロマンティックって、はい、ありがとうございますああすみません今何の曲聞いてますかあのアレキサンドロスの先行、はい、先行シックをスタートしたんですかあいやあの映画作品のあの、はい、主題歌で主題歌なんですねはい、uh, The day that I sing for everyone when we do a karaoke stream is when Crunch is out of the house I promise one actually when we hit like 10k view, uh, sorry, not viewers, um, followers back in like, I think it was like 2021 or something like that. And then it was Crunch and our roommate at the time who decided to stay home. And I was like, well, I guess I can't karaoke anymore. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm too shy. I'm too shy. It's, it's different. It's, it's different if I'm alone though, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> すみません。好きなアーティストとのあの曲名あったら教えてください。あ,あ、バンプのクロノスタシス。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。すみません。今何の曲聞いてますか。あ、えー、っと、はい、ビートルズのディアプルです。<笑><笑> but not, but not if I'm around. See, that's the thing. And then like our friend invited. Okay, then our friend invited us out to do karaoke、uh, in Japan. And Crunch said no for like a very, very long time. And it wasn't until our fifth trip that he was actually, you know, convinced. Like, you know, because like our friends actually rented out like a karaoke space and stuff. And he's like, okay, I have to be drunk to, to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they watered down those drinks though. Like, I only had one and I didn't even feel anything. Crunch had to have like, th had to have, like three drinks. I don't, I don't know. I think they watered down their drinks. <laughs> ああそうですね<笑>結構古い曲好きなんですかいろいろ聴きますビートルズも聴きますしす、ね、ストーンズも聴きますしあそうなんですねありがとうございます You know what Crunch maybe if we get good enough at singing if we become Utaite maybe we can do、um, Yume no Nakae Yeah Yeah that, that's, what, that's what we can do We can do a VTuber duet Oh Yume no Nakae Yume no Nakae <laughs> All right, so we've been filming for like an hour and we haven't found any girls. So we're trying to find girls to interview here. <laughs> we haven't found any girls. <laughs> well, I guess we have to. I guess we have to listen to the pickup artists.、Uh, we we have to find the guy that <laughs> found the pickup artists、uh, one. <laughs> uh, um, find anyone listening、uh, to death metal? Um, I don't. I don't think so yet, actually. One of the videos. Actually, funny thing that you mentioned、uh, metal stuff because、uh, we had a friend recently、um, take a trip. I didn't even i didn't even know they went on this trip. They went,、uh, I guess I probably should say where. They went to another.、Um... Oh, I guess I can say it. Okay, so we had a friend that actually went to Sweden a while ago and they went to go to、um, a baby metal concert that happened recently. I think they just came home a while ago. So. <laughs> So,、uh, yeah, funny thing about uh, metal, yeah. <laughs> Tokyo University. And yeah, it's pretty hard, not gonna lie. Wait, what? Oh. Is it that, is it that much? <gasps> Apparently, they got caught in a scandal. How, when was that? Apparently, like in 2021, there was a scandal that they were caught rejecting female students. Now, how would they do that? Like, because, like, if they accepted them, did their grades have to be like super high or something? Or, like, they would just take the male students before the female students? Wow. Jeez. What the heck? 
Oh. Wow. So the faculty that was in charge of like, so what was it? It was medical, so medicine, law, and what was the other one? A few other ones who were like male dominated. They just didn't want to take female students. Okay, but this is actually fucked. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Okay, well, it's good that they actually like got caught then. Cause like, man, that's, uh, you know, like, you know, like people talk about stuff, but geez, that's like, sheesh. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like unmove. It's like unmoving, like right here. Jeez. Pretty hard. Not gonna lie. Sorry, ma'am. Ma'am, what song do you listen to? Recent drama song. 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 Okay, I'm, I'm kind of curious, yeah. <laughs> that does look like a slick, uh, slick shirt, yeah. Five o'clock by Ed. アーティストの名前は変態新宿ラ変態新宿ラ今何の曲聴いてますかデュアリパのあ、デュアリパはいはいのグッドインベッドグッドインベッドすいません今何の曲聴いてますか今ブルックだ ブルックなあのクラシック音楽なんですかいやちょっとたまたま流れてきた友達がおすすめしてたんですあわかりましたありがとうございますすいません今何の曲聴いてますかあはいえっとトーフビーツの新しいアルバムのバイブレーションバイ
And there was like this one customer um, that I'll always remember because like um, he didn't even work at the bookstore, but he was like, hey, <laughs> like, he, he was like, I was, I was just like, mm. I, like me, me um, in my broken Japanese, like, oh, no, uh, like, kono shiti o sakashite, uh, demo, uh, uh, nai, nai. It's like, it's not there kind of thing, you know? <laughs> and he's like, hey, and like, cause it's like, what? This foreigner girl is trying to find like some like jazz, you know, stuff and everything. <laughs> um, I guess kind of like, I guess before City Pop was kind of like popping off, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but now now at tower records and other places they're like foreigners please buy please buy now <laughs> yeah and it's like oh huh, you listen to this yeah <laughs> um i guess even with like the mint gems um when thank you for fine uh crunch found like a jazz uh place in um uh what's that one book district again J jimbo's books uh jimbo cho there was um, a jazz shop in Jimbocho. I was trying to find some mint gems, but I think it actually might be on vinyl instead of a CD. <laughs> they didn't have it, but they had a different CD. They had a live CD, though. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I hope you're both. Yeah, we're we're doing better now. Actually, talking to everyone is making me feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, put some of the albums on your throne. No, no, but but this is the thing. Um, well, <laughs> you probably only find some of them like actually in Japan, though, is the thing. Um, for example, um, Tatsuro Yamashita, he refuses to put any of his music on um, Spotify and things like that. Like, you have to buy hard copies of, like, his music. <laughs> or there's, like, a few of them that refuse to, like, you know, have their music on Spotify and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's on YouTube for people that, like, rip the vinyl and stuff like that, of course, but yeah. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you, janitor. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Joe. Oh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I that's actually one of the things that I do look forward to, like when going back to take taking a trip in Japan and stuff. There's a lot of fun music. Like, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of Dojin music as well. And when I'm referring to Dojin, I don't mean like H the hentai. I'm not referring to hentai. <laughs> I'm referring to Dojin as in self-publishing. There's a lot of people who like self-publish their music and stuff. And uh, yeah, like fan-made music, exactly. And uh, there's actually a lot of it you can get at Comiket and other places. Um, for example, um, there's two Fake Grand Order jazz CDs that, that I have. And Crunch was able to find a booth for me that had uh, some FGO jazz. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Are there any holidays in Canada prior to Christmas? No. <laughs> no. No, we have to wait um, probably for the rest of the... Yeah. No, probably not until... Actually, Christmas is... Uh, Christmas and Christmas Eve kind of fall on bad days for me, I guess. <laughs> Canada hates holidays? No, we have like holidays on different... Um, different days of the calendar year fate would have a great jazz album oh the people that did like this like fgo ja jazz album it's it's great yeah <laughs> uh we had a thanksgiving on october yeah we um I, I i told everyone this we had our thanksgiving in october i can't remember what day it was but it was on a monday also um the reason why i said that uh christmas eve and christmas day actually i think also christmas no, and New Year's Day kind of don't work out for me is because I have Mondays and Tuesdays away from work, so they kind of fall on bad days for me. Good days for everyone else, though, but... Uh, <laughs> Black Friday is hours away. Black Friday is hours away, and you can go pick up some merch at Neontastic. Smile. <laughs> we have a Black Friday sale. Yippee! <laughs> 
Um, there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of things right there. <laughs> wait, if he, wait, if they're in the middle of class, then like, huh? Uh, okay, let me, let me see here. I found, um, okay. PewDiePie actually put out a video recently, and uh, it's him learning to draw, teaching himself how to draw. And I thought this was nice because um, I I like, you know, I like drawing. There's a lot of people that, uh, I, that I know in my life who like to draw. So I thought this would be a fun video to, to watch and see what his progress is like. I don't draw. I haven't drawn since I was a kid. In fact, here's a self-portrait of me when I was six years old. And I know what you're thinking. Pretty good, right? <laughs> the semblance is uncanny. Why was doing skin color so difficult as a child? It's like, I'm not completely lying. Red. Burning fire red. <laughs> Here's uh, another self-portrait I found that I drew when I was eight years old. I have now evolved skin color into merging with the wall behind me. Bold move. An artistic uh, statement. I don't, I don't know. Compared Damn. I'm jealous of you guys in the U.S. You get to eat turkey twice a year, Tane cry. <laughs> twice a year, aww. My bones, thank you for the three months. Thank you so much. I'm happy that you're enjoying your time here. Thank you so much for three months. Oh my goodness, yeah, they get to eat turkey two times. I guess for Thanksgiving and for Christmas, I suppose. <laughs> aww, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Oh no, now, now they're confused. Uh-oh, they're like, wait. <laughs> Do you guys have something different on Christmas dinner, perhaps? Person. Here's a self-portrait that Picasso drew when he was 15. I was a prodigy. Oh, well, 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 I guess, uh, I guess some people eat ham during Christmas then. It's different. <laughs> Christmas ham. Ah, I see. Or eat prime ribs. Oh, well, there we go. So I guess it's, I guess it's different then. Oh. Oh, mm. Uh, I can, I can understand that tarantula. I'm, I'm sure that in Florida, you don't want to be sweating a lot and having like your ball sack stuck to the side of your thigh. I, 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 maybe, I don't know. I hear that the humidity and the heat is really bad in Florida. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want to move somewhere that's actually cold. Now here's, now here's the thing. Um, I want to move somewhere that is a little warm, but I guess like somewhere that is like a nice in between. I guess the good news about Canada is that, um, I don't have to worry about too many bugs, but then you have to worry about shoveling a bunch of snow almost, almost every single day during the winter time. So you have to do a lot of labor. <laughs> um to get into your house um maybe it depends i guess if somebody takes care of it if you live in an apartment but uh and moose well i guess you just have to be careful with the with the moose and everything yeah 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 you don't want to <laughs> crunch we get the swamp ass up here too i guess it depends it depends on where the region is of course yeah <laughs> <laughs> i guess swamp bass is something that none of us can ever escape i guess yeah <laughs> could have been an artist but i stopped i don't draw so one of my last videos i did was i learned a new thing every day for seven days so i spent one day trying to learn one thing. oh yeah i remember he did that with like exercising and stuff too <gasps> you got the mimic to your elden ring yes i saw that a while ago you said that you were um doing more of your elden ring uh gameplay and everything so that's exciting that's good i'm happy that you're continuing with it oh sorry i'm getting sniffly uh. Uh, sniff, sniffly. <laughs> and it was really fun. It got me itching to wanting to learn more things. The bad kind of and sniffer. I thought, what if I do it for a longer time? What if I learn to draw? Then I can compare what I drew at the beginning. I was just kind of thinking it's kind of like the anti ASMR, right? <laughs> compare with the end and be like wow at least that's what you want to see right i have no <laughs> crush is like stop it's please very embarrassing. <laughs> speaking <laughs> of which i gotta draw my first drawing let's begin
Are you guys ready to cringe? It's oh. all in here. Be nice, okay? <laughs> oh. I'm a sensitive artist. I want only good feedback. All right, so day one, I drew a bunch of eyes because I thought every day I'm going to learn to draw a different body part. That was a bad idea. <laughs> day two, I just doodled. Which so I guess who... I guess for like advice for people who want to do drawing. Oh, the fundamentals are so boring, but you have to do them, I guess is the thing. And I guess here's the thing. I need to kick myself in the butt too, because you always have to go back to the fundamentals. And uh, I know I should be doing the fundamentals all over again and stuff too. Like you always have to kind of like go back and practice them. Your shapes and your shading and your values and... All of that fun stuff that you usually learn in like an introductory to drawing class. You got to learn your shapes. You got to learn how to make them three dimensional. Understand where the light hits and where the shadows fall. And one of the most difficult studies you can do is usually for like how drapes fall. So we did a lot of those in like art classes. Yeah. The fundies. Yeah. The art fundamentals. Yeah. Uh, don't even bother learning how to like, well, you could, you know, I mean, you could draw humans and stuff like draw what you like, of course, but before you even start drawing the human, you got to understand the shapes of the human. <laughs> you know, it's fun, but my goal with this was to get better, right? So yeah, I drew a bunch of stuff from my favorite manga, Blan. You can kind of tell it's just a mess. I don't even know. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's embarrassing to show actually you. you know what i'm gonna hype you guys up for something because when i was very sicky last night before i went to bed i actually thought of a really good drawing stream idea and it's something that i think some people have already done but i haven't done it yet so There is a certain drawing theory, yes, that, and I wanted to attempt it. So I was kind of thinking that could be something that I would like to do when, you know, getting better and everything. Yeah. <laughs> you got to understand the shapes of these nuts. Un um, unironically, yes, though. <laughs> unironically, yeah. Please. Day three, yeah, still doing things. I don't know. The goal of this was not to just draw a lot, but rather just draw a little bit every day. So day four, I watched... You haven't seen any of the art streams yet? Aw. Um, if you do want to see the see the art, though, you can check out things on Pixiv, although I think it's been a while since I've uh, uploaded anything, though. <laughs> Tutorial. I watched a draw along by Akihito Yoshitomi. Uh, really cool style. So drawing along, yeah, I guess it helped, but it still looks how it looks like. Cool. So here's kind of the crux of this video where I realized... I could never draw a girl because I don't know about you guys, but I am in the girls are pretty, guys are ugly gang. Okay? <laughs> oh. Whatever you prefer, that's fine. But I feel like if you draw a guy, it doesn't really matter. They can be ugly, whatever. But if you draw a girl and you want to make them pretty, it's... When is the last time I've done an art stream? Before I had this VTuber model. Actually. Yeah. And it's been way too long been way way too long so it's probably been like a year and a half or something i've been uh i've been drawing like off stream of course but uh yeah it's hard you gotta be good <laughs> at drawing to do that so i thought that would be a good challenge to teach myself no 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 here's the thing i i understand i understand your problem as guys and as men sometimes when you you know when it's humidity and like it gets hot you have like the ball sack gets stuck to the side of your thigh and sometimes you have to like adjust it you know sometimes that's just the way it is <laughs> and sometimes like you try to maneuver it and you try to show people that you're not trying to do it but <laughs> no no i feel i feel for you i feel for you guys you know like hot, hot places like it's not fun when there's lots of humidity and everything <laughs> It, at least with like girls and stuff we get like the boob sweat but then like i don't i don't know if that really sounds gross though like yeah <laughs> the 
awkward step on a summer walk. <laughs> but then like for girls, we have like the boob sweat. So I don't know. I don't know if it, I don't think it sounds gross, I guess. But <laughs> How to draw a girl. And here we have the result and it's awful. <laughs> yeah, that one's not too bad. I don't know what that is. So I found this artist on YouTube I recommend, Chomling Drawing, that does a lot of tutorials and I really like this style too because they weren't anime style, it was just drawing girls and they look really good but not mine. So I learned the basic of drawing the circle and the eyes and how to proportion it all. Because if any element is wrong, it, the face just looks horrible, it doesn't matter what you do. Day 6 is just in pain. I was oh, no. so frustrated <laughs> trying to understand this method of drawing a circle and then I drew my first mites here. Oh, uh, it, it's horrible. Cute. Don't laugh at me. Do not screenshot these. That's illegal. Do not screenshot. They all just kind of look like weird elves. or <gasps> Girls are never gross. I appreciate you saying that because I have never felt more gross than this week. <laughs> oh, man. I... <laughs> I even today I was like I'm sorry crunch I'm just like oh I'm sni I'm sniffly and I'm coughing and everything he's like no you're f you're fine you're fine <laughs> taking the trash out sounds good sounds good just leprechauns rather I was very <laughs> mad I'm cringing so hard looking at these I just can't seem to get it they all look like elves Oh, this this is the best part though. If you draw ears too big, you can make them elf ears. Just just make them elf ears. Yeah. Um, this is actually a good um okay, so like when the face is aligned, the top of the ear should match up with the top of the eye, and the bottom of the ear should go with the bottom of the nose. Um, that's that is one tip right there. So the top of the ear should go at the top of the eye and the bottom of the ear should go down with the bottom of the nose there. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because the ears are giant. <sighs> like, the face is very proportional for how it should look. There's, yeah. Very frustrating. It doesn't get better. Actually, sometimes I do stuff and I'm like, oh, that one's not that bad, actually. But then the rest is just awful, so. Day eight drew my second merch. It's bad. I erased parts of it because I hated it that much. <laughs> Me and Marcia went to a cafe. Uh, oh, we yummy. We wanted a break from parenting. So Marcia just read a book and I just drew and it was really, really nice. But I tried to draw Marcia, but it was, it's just so cringe. It's so bad. That looked yummy. I really thought I <gasps> What? <laughs> no, I'm kind of curious what that is. <laughs> okay, but that's, that's like a good like meme drawing though, you know? <laughs> by day eight, but here we are. So. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's more pain. I, I, I love that too. <laughs> Just, I'm so mad at drawing these. <laughs> so furiated. <laughs> like, why can't I draw? What is wrong? Sorry to interrupt the video. There's something I wanted to tell you guys. There's a G Fuel BOGO sale! Mm, I, I'm sorry, PewDiePie. I love you, but I, but I cannot. I've bought so much G Fuel with your code before. I think, I think I've supported Mr. PewDiePie enough with the amount of G Fuel that I bought. <laughs> we'll get a free G Fuel branded keychain. Don't wait, because these things sell out. And if you spend more than $70, yeah, one you know, you know what? I'm going to use this opportunity to be like, buy the Tane Tenchi Shaker Cup. It's so good, and you can put any kind of gamer juice in it. You can put anything in my Shaker uh, Cup. I don't know. <laughs> Four months with our wonderful sensei. Yay! Breezy, thank you for the four months. Thank you. I hope that you're having a very, very good night. Aw, thank you, thank you. Aw, thank you. Thank you for the four months. I'm so happy that you're enjoying your time here. <laughs> you get this glow-in-the-dark tub. It glows in the dark, okay? I don't know how to draw that, but it's it's for free. Over $70. In this bogus sale, there's so many. Oh my! Oh my God! He's things. still going. Spiced orange. Jeez. Zero crash. Zero. By linking this reference. How anything. long was that ad? Holy crap! It was. Wait. How long was that ad for? Um. Not two minutes. Okay. 
Uh, that's that sounds about right, I guess. That is, oh, that felt lo a lot longer than. <laughs> uh, that PewDiePie hasn't been like parodied by uh, Meat Canyon. Um, I don't know if he has actually. Oh, I loved that XQC one that Meat Canyon did. Oh, I loved the Taylor Swift one that he did recently. That one was so good. I love that. <laughs> Taylor Swift fans are crazy. I'm so sorry if anybody's a Taylor Swift fan, but man, some of you guys are like cultists. <laughs> some of Taylor Swift's fans are like, oh boy, like she can she can do no no wrong. <laughs> yeah, I got food. Thank you, Crunch. Sorry to any Swifties out there. Um, but yeah. You got why everybody drank it then. Mm, there's there's some drinks that are like pretty yummy. Yeah. You've known that for years. Oh man. I'm I'm happy that me Canyon did that parody though, because holy heck. Um the irony the irony was pretty funny with all like the, the fans going after him though. i I mean poor poor me Canyon, but you know, like <laughs> holy crap. Her the, her fans are vicious. I think I'm just drawing based on what I learn, uh, so sometimes you've you've invoked our wrath. I didn't even say anything bad about Taylor Swift. <laughs> are are we are we still cool, bestie? <laughs> I say turn out one maybe out of ten. Day ten, not much to say. Day eleven, I felt like okay, I should probably know how to draw a body, right? So I practiced that a lot. It looks like I did a lot, but I I drew these so quickly that I don't know. Just a lot of bodies started adding heads to them. And it was extremely hard to, for me to get the proportions of the head and the body right, as you can see here on the right. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know why you put the question mark. Oh, it's okay. You're just um, evoking your inner white girl. It's fine. <laughs> oh my God, that was so spot on. <laughs> it's, uh, it's infectious, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just kept drawing bodies, but I just can hated them. So I switched to learning how to draw feet and hands for a day, just for a change of pace. That was easier, I guess. Day 19, I was panicking at this point because I knew I only had, what, 10 more days? And I hated these. I hate them. <laughs> Maybe you guys are, would be like, no, they're not that bad. Because that's what Marcia would always no, say. No, they're, they're, really not, they're not bad. I hated them so much. What do you think? You're back. Did, did you miss anything? Mm -mm. I don't think I don't think you missed anything too much. We were just uh, uh, I think we talked about G Fuel for two seconds, <laughs> and then I, I I was like, no, no, I gave PewDiePie enough of my G Fuel money. <laughs> I also got food. <laughs> you lying? Yeah, they're great. Thank you. That one is beautiful. What? Day 21, still panicking. I drew what looks like a child here. I didn't mean to. I think the torso was too tiny. Yeah, still panicking. Day 22. Yeah. <laughs> Day 23. Oh, God. Mm. So here's the thing about drawing humans. Or even like just cartoon characters. The amount of heads that you have per the body is usually like the rule. It depends. It depends on how many heads you want to make them, but less less heads, um, usually a child character. And if it's like, I think eight heads is usually a woman and ten heads is usually a guy. So, was it five heads? Mm, no, I think it was more than that. After you kind of like draw enough, you kind of just get used to it, but <laughs> you just kind of get used to it after a while. <laughs> I drew another merch, but uh, it's it was so bad. I just scribble over it. Sorry, merch face. Then I think here on the left. Ara, ara, ma, ma. Hello, Miss Dean. Hello, chat. Happy five rate months. Anyway, get well soon, Miss. Especially Crunch. Aw, especially Crunch. Aw, <laughs> thank you, Skull. Thank you. Thank you so much for the eight months. Thank you for the get well wishes. <clears throat> I'm uh I'm I'm trying my best. I think I should feel a little bit better like tomorrow and I think I should be pretty much like better by the weekend is what I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm happy that you're enjoying your time here. Happy 8 months to you. <laughs> Not that bad. 
quite like these. What happened? Why can't I do it every time? Why is it so hard to do? Oh, Why that's so true, though. It's like, hmm, I did this one thing good. Why can't I do that every time, though? Hmm. <laughs> Why did no one tell me? Day 24, I first changed the page. Oh, hey, oh, hey, it's power. Power. Power chan. <laughs> Hey, hey there, son daughter. So, hello, hello. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Decided to draw some anime characters. You can see power on the left. I followed a tutorial online as well. This really helped a lot. I think drawing anime style was just easier somehow, and following a reference was also way easier. They're not good by any means, but I was finally, finally, I just felt like it clicked. I could draw these super quick. And it was fun. I was just sketching random stuff. Drew one quick one, moved on to the next one. And I really, really enjoyed it. After 24 days, I was finally having fun. <laughs> Same with day 25. I was like, oh, I'm, these are even better. I'm kind of improving now. I drew these all really quickly too. And messing around with different facial expressions. Same with day 26. I feel like you, every day you can see improvement. And I drew another merch. And that one's not that bad. Day 27, I randomly picked up this manga to study Japanese, but I really like the character. It's called Kindergarten Wars. It was really oh. fun to <laughs> this character. I really, really enjoyed it. Just like goofy style, chibi or whatever, but also kind of cute some stuff. Day 28, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I could She's got a like gun. Finally draw. Look out. <laughs> I'm not saying these are great, but they're so much better than they used to be. All of a sudden, it just kind of clicked. I was so happy. <laughs> I feel like it's a bit cringe for a 34 year old man to draw anime, but at least I felt like I was improving and that was all I was going with. Never feel cringe for what you draw. Never, never feel that cringe. If you make something, then you made something. These are all from different anime or manga, but I feel like they're quite good. I don't want to sound like arrogant, but I looked at these and I was like, I couldn't believe I drew them. I drew these? How? <laughs> Day 29 and improving still and i drew a march and i love it it's so cute and that one's cute too what happened finally uh these are pretty bad but <laughs> i don't know i like these and there we go day 30. i don't like all of these but some of them are kind of cool you know what's cringe giving up i don't i don't know cool drew them just from my head as well so i'm happy about that and guess what day 31 i kept going because i actually realized i enjoy drawing now <laughs> It's fun. I'm really sick of drawing anime girls or girls in general, but that was the goal to try and accomplish. Comparing these and these drawings with some of the first stuff I Cringe is also caring about what's cringe. True. Very true. You have to get over what you think is cringe. <laughs> true. You can at least say it's an improvement. <laughs> we can agree on that. So yeah, I was very pleasantly surprised. All right, so that concludes my little drawing thing. Honestly, this is, was a better result than I expected. Mm. My so I have to wait until Black Friday for your merch. Mm. So my new merch is not on sale. I'm just going to make sure. Yeah, yeah, the new merch is not going to be on the Black Friday sale because it's new merch. But old merch is on the Black Friday sale. And I think Crunch had a link to the everything that is applicable for the Black Friday sale. Anything that is new merch is not going to be on the Black Friday sale because it is new. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think he had the link somewhere. I have to go finding it again. Give me two seconds. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Black Friday. Black Friday sale. It's right on it's right on the banner. Right, right on the banner. Everything on the Black Friday sale is right there. <laughs> My goal was to practice 10 minutes a day because now as a new dad, I don't really have the sit down for hours and do anything. Because 10 minutes a day for 30 days only equates to five hours. So I wanted to see, can you actually get a result out of that? And I think, yeah, it seems for me, at least I'm very happy and I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. After all the pain, <laughs> the first two, three weeks of pain, I felt like I was actually really enjoying sketching. I thought it was really relaxing. 
engaging and i can totally see myself keep doing it keep a sketchbook and draw whatever but if oh, you enjoyed thank this you. video oh, let thank me know you. maybe i inspired you to learn something yourself 10 minutes a day not that big of a deal that's it bye bye why 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 would i hate you oh no we don't share the same taste in content creator oh my god i'm a i'm a pewdiepie stan and you're a markiplier stan we have to hate each other now we can't we can't exist in the same echo chamber <laughs> or we can't we can't exist in the same space anymore oh my god was that pewdiepie yeah it was pewdiepie um he was learning to draw for a few days um yeah i know it's it's simply not allowed it's not allowed at all yeah <laughs> um i think the only critique that like i i know that he didn't really have a person to guide him and i know that he was doing tutorials online um i think it's like you just have to do the the fundamentals like it's like working your way up to do before drawing the person i guess is the thing but then yeah looking at the there was a lot of portraits though and I did notice he was actually doing some like um poses and hands and feet after. So that's good. Because um portraits are fun because you get to hide the hands and feet and everything, you know? But then it gets fun when then you get to like do more poses and stuff. But then the hard part is trying to find poses that look pretty dynamic. And that's something that I still want to work on finding um trying to work on poses that are more dynamic. Instead of like a little bit stiff. <laughs> yeah three three scary games yeah <laughs> yeah three scary games more yeah uh um i don't know if i talked about it but um yeah i've i've watched pewdiepie since um oh my god um it was around when he did the horror compilations but i think crunch said he even watched him like before then like it was like before the happy wheels and like all that kind of stuff like we were watching pewdiepie when we were in like university college and everything so i don't know it's kind of fun to like watch a content creator like kind of like grow up with you i guess if that makes sense i don't know <laughs> also he was one of the people that popularized the the face cam like let's plays there was so many people on youtube that just recorded their let's plays and didn't do face cam like they just did like a voice um overlay like he was one of the first people to do like a face cam. So claps to PewDiePie. Yeah. Um, it's funny because I was watching uh, <laughs> when I made that Wings of Redemption and Dark Side Phil joke, uh, I think it was a few weeks ago. There was <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's Google being weird or something, but there was a video recommendation in my YouTube uh and it was a video about all the things about Dark Side Phil. <laughs> And I knew some things about Dark Side Phil, but not a lot. And apparently Dark Side Phil never used a game capture device until like 2015 or something. Like he he didn't even use one until like way later. He recorded his whole screen with like a camcorder. And he didn't even like show himself. Like it, it's just kind of bewildering that like, I don't know. <laughs> he wasn't like getting with the times and everything and, and capture devices were so easily accessible in like you know the 2010s and everything so <laughs> you never watched him say so oh that's a that's a thing i just i just know about like i don't know i guess um i don't know some of those creators yeah i guess the people that got popular with um some people got popular at the right time at the right place because i feel like wings of redemption got popular off of cod at the right time at the right place and dark side phil got popular because of fighting games at the right time at the right place you know like <laughs> like some people i don't know yeah <laughs> Oh, you realized? What? Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, I was, I was, I was talking about my admiration for PewDiePie, and then in contrast, in contrast, um, I don't know, just how a dark side fill video got recommended to me in my YouTube um recommendations. So anyway, <laughs> no, I love, I love PewDiePie. I still watch his videos. I was excited to see that he had a video pop up. He doesn't even have to make YouTube videos anymore, but he just does. So yeah. 
Yeah, there was a yeah the really crappy port for the Street Fighter Two Turbo. So apparently he was like, oh yes, um, he was like, yes, I am uh number one in the USA. Uh, I am the number one in the USA. But apparently, like the OGs wanted to boycott like the Street Fighter Two Turbo <laughs> because it was like a bad port. <laughs> but um, so then he was like, oh yes, I am the top American person. <laughs> Uh, funny, funny shit, yeah. I found a video that is, um, Japanese bakery life as well, so I was kind of like, hmm, this could be fun to watch. It could be fun to watch at the same time. They were actually gonna fight him about it. Oh, I oh I don't doubt it. <laughs> um, Dark Side Phil runs his mouth like all the time. <laughs> kind of funny. He probably doesn't do tournaments anymore because um, he spent like $40,000 on like a gacha game. <laughs> Even with like the goodwill of his community like supporting him. <laughs> that was something I didn't know actually about Dark Side Phil. He spent like $40,000 on like a UF uh, uh, wrestling game. Um, WWE game or something or something like that. I don't know. Ah, WWE All-Star. Thank you. Thank you, Janitor. Thank you. Sorry, not UFC. Sorry, not UFC. My bad. My bad. Oh my god, it's like a Bejeweled game? <laughs> well, I guess, I guess it was entertaining enough for $40,000 then. You can spend 40 th I guess you can. I, gu I guess you can spend that amount of money. <laughs> Wait, gotcha games when they don't, um, collect waifus? I don't know, man. I, I like the waifu part because at least I get a cute girl PNG, but that's just me. <laughs> oh, you know what's actually really funny? There was an FGO event back in 2021 that a lot of people complained about. Um, I think it was in Japan and in North America because you had to specifically use your guy servants and there were so many people that did not level up their guys. And there was people complaining and it's like, well, maybe you should have fucking leveled up your guy characters. <laughs> no, but cute girls though. <laughs> uh, twice bait croissants? Um, I'm curious. I think they are going to make croissants actually. Currently, they have to do all this at like 2 in the morning to um, prepare, so... I don't know, sorry, um, I, <laughs> I don't know why I brought up like Dark Side Phil for like a second time on stream. I think there's just certain, like, internet celebrities or, like, e-celebrities that, like, kind of fascinate me <laughs> in some way. I don't know. There's certain e-celebrities that are just kind of, like, just fascinating to listen about when people do video essays about them. <laughs> Oh, 
今日は一二三四五六七八九十一十二十三十四十五種類。Apparently, Keemstar wanted to have、um, Boogie and、uh, Darkside Phil and Wings of Redemption all on like a podcast called like a Wall Cow podcast at some point. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, I like that. Oh, those are ooh, tasty. It would be amazing. Oh man, jeez. <laughs> It's like, oh, is it the third time? I I apologize. I don't know. I think it's interesting to see how people kind of like rose to their fame, especially when it was kind of like pre-monetized YouTube, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, was it the second? Oh, so God, I was like, oh my God, I hope it's not the third time. <laughs> uh, it was because, um, I saw that there was that documentary, and I put I put it in the media share part of the Discord too about the the boogie documentary that somebody did, and oh my god, he spent like a hundred k, um, not on his mortgage but on um, prostitutes and stuff, and it's like prior priorities, you know. Um, it was uh prostitutes and es escorts, yeah. Ooh. That's a lot of dough. Yummy. Ooh. Ooh. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And they're eating good. Apparently, one of them quit because uh, <laughs> they quit shortly after.、Um, I guess、uh, going out with.、Uh, oh, sorry, well, I guess escorts, you know,、uh, doing stuff with Boogie. <laughs> sorry, not going out. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Apparently, one of them stopped being an escort shortly after. <laughs> He made them quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lots of、uh, almonds and stuff. Almonds and sweet potato, I think. You remember him getting arrested? Yeah, it was kind of funny during the documentary when I watched it because he was actually trying to、um, go back into like the job.、Uh, what would you call it? The job market, I guess. And he was just like,、um, <laughs> "If you search up my name,、uh, you probably see information of me beating up my wife, criminal activity, and this, 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 and this." And they're like, "Hmm." Okay, so we don't have a lot to work with <laughs> for like your job applications. <laughs> yeah, he literally said all the terrible things like that he did. <laughs> I know, yeah, the、uh, you could tell that the the woman interviewing him like wanted to say something, and she's like,、mm. <laughs> ooh, ah, <gasps> cheese, gouda, yum, ooh, oh my gosh, any anything with cheese, yes please, anything with cheese, um. Oh, this this was really funny to me actually.、Um, 
a food, a food ASMR today. Uh, react Andy, si sick day. React Andy, sick day. <laughs> a fascinated woman, which he's, it's so true though, you know? <laughs> We, we, we make fun of the meme where it's like fascinating a woman with cheese, but it's so true. Cheese is great. I think everybody likes cheese for the most part. I, even for the people who are lactose intolerant, they'll they'll be like, I'll I'll chance it for some cheese, you know? <laughs> you like poutine? I love poutine. I love poutine. Pizza with stuffed crust. I had it like once or twice in my life. So I, because I remember that I think I got it once uh because my family never got it when i was younger so then like when crunch and i were like living by ourselves and stuff i was like can we have stuffed crust pizza i've never had it when i was a kid i do like poutine i love poutine i think i already said that but i'll, I'll say it again i love poutine i love poutine Oh, cranberries. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I was kind of curious, actually. Is he do? I guess he is doing it all by himself. <gasps> right. Yeah. Oh. He does not have staff this morning. He's doing everything. <clears throat> Ooh, yum. Oh, they look so perfect. That looks so nice. It's actually satisfying to watch. Well, that's good. I'm glad. Um... I think I probably have like one more thing to say about Boogie <laughs> and then we can stop, but I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like talking about like internet e-celebrities a little bit. <laughs> um, so he's like dating a girl that uh, I think that was 19 when they met at the time or something. And he's like 50 something, right? Um, now, I was watching Pay Money Wubby react to react to it um a little bit of the documentary and the thing that made me laugh a little bit was that when people were coming into the stream wubby was like ah yes boogie is explaining to his daughter that he will not be able to you know um maybe live long and he's trying to explain to his daughter that he won't be there for her anymore <laughs> Ooh, the chocolate ones look really good You, I guess, I, I, I guess you, you under, you understand the joke, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Coffee powder. Well, now we have to go, now we have to go to this. I found an onigiri shop that's uh, really good, and I want to. We should we should try to find where this bakery is too. I guess. <laughs> you get the joke. Oh, okay. Thank God. I'm like, I hope somebody got that. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna be there for his daughter anymore. <laughs> mm. It was my favorite too. <clears throat> It's always nice to, um, find something sweet. <coughs> I'll always remember our friend, I think it was during, <clears throat> I think it was the fourth time we went. When, um, I went to go and order some, uh, melon pan, some melon pan. 
and I, and I, I go up and order like Ichigo Menopano could say, you know, to go order. And then he goes up and orders and he's like, strawberry, please. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you have to say it in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody remember Epic Meal Time? I do. I'm assuming they had to stop because of like probably um calorie and health wise, I'm assuming. But then I think at some point they tried to transition into snack food or foods and it didn't really go over well if uh if I remember right. I think I did watch like a YouTube essay at one point about Epic Meal Time and why they couldn't continue with new YouTube or something? Mm. <clears throat> Ooh, yummy. Fruit mixture. Oh, yum. That was like something that you would do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't don't go and order what you want in Japanese. Just say like strawberry, please. <laughs> How do you answer all the when are you getting uh, married questions? Um, say that you have other priorities uh, before you want to get married. Say that uh, whether you want to focus on your career or if you want to focus on... Um, like your career or your school or whatever um say that that's important so then um if you do decide to get married then you um are able to pay for everything for your baby girl you know <laughs> yeah oh man it's already like 5 20 in the morning uh, you know when you drink water wrong Oh, I need to get more water. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, not entirely true. Strawberry milk is a stra strawberry milk. <laughs> it's there's a difference. Yeah, there's no there's a there's a difference. You can't just say strawberry milk. You have to say strawberry milk. <laughs> No, you can't. Yeah, you cannot say Ichigo uh, Gyunyu. Yeah. I think that's milk, yeah. <laughs> One chicken, please! Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> One chicken. <laughs> you too could be a story out there <laughs> somewhere. It's okay. I uh, I fucked up really bad in Japan during our um. Ah, what trip was it? The second trip, I think. Uh, we were at a May cafe, and uh, <laughs> we were in a maid cafe, and I ordered a drink, and it was uh, so we wanted to go to one of the maid cafes that were one of the original maid cafes in Akihabara, one of the original maid cafes, and it's like classy made cafe they don't do like the moi moi kyun like stuff it's like no no traditional made cafe right when i picked up my glass and i set it down on the table 
it exploded. <laughs> and I was like, huh? Um, now I didn't know this, but apparently if glass, um, has a little bit of like air in it or something like that, or, or if you set glass down the wrong way, <coughs> apparently it can explode. Um, I, it could, it could also be stress fractures from repeated use, I guess, is the thing too. No, the thing is though, I couldn't explain this to them. <laughs> I was like, uh, 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 like, it's an omen? Maybe. <laughs> um, I couldn't explain it. Um, uh, so I was just like, I was just like, Samiva said, Samiva said, Samiva said, and like, I, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> that it broke. Go medicine, go medicine, go medicine, go medicine. <laughs> They were really nice about it, but they did not give me another drink. I don't think they gave me another drink, actually. I, I I took like one or two sips from that drink and I don't think I got another one. <laughs> they were like, oh. <laughs> I can't remember if I actually got another drink. I don't did did they give me another drink? Oh uh, Crunch Crunch thinks he they did. I couldn't I couldn't remember clearly, I guess. Actually, you know what? I guess it, I guess, you know what, for customer service and stuff, I guess they would have given me another drink, I guess, yeah. You should, you smuggled something? Oh my god, what did you smuggle? <laughs> what did you smuggle? Oh my god, Sphinx, were you, were you being naughty? <laughs> I don't, we haven't set set foot in that maid cafe ever since then though. <laughs> when when I broke their glass, <laughs> or rather the glass shattered. <laughs> oh, wait, how's that bad though? It's just, it's just marine. Wait, you pay, well, you shouldn't have been able to buy it? Wait. Oh boy, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of things in Japan that, uh, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> that, uh, some people can definitely not bring back home to their, uh, home countries. <laughs> Aw, Jiggly Lily, you are a good girl. You're a very, very, very good girl. Very, very good girl. You're, you're my good girl. Even, even if I'm sick, you're still my good girl. <laughs> All I will say is, uh, flies. <laughs> yeah. There was, uh, there was this one or several series part Dojin at Comiket that was, uh, flies. <laughs> oh, you were able to keep a conversation. Oh, wait. Oh, did they check you at customs? Is that what happened? <laughs> did they see it? Did they see it? Red circle. <laughs> Did they see it? Insect Dojin? Yes. Yeah, there's uh there's a lot of interesting stuff out there. <laughs> oh, those look so good. Oh my gosh. The layers, the layers. Oh, it had Japan sales only? <gasps> oh! Oh! I didn't even... Wait, I didn't even know that some of those were like that. Oh! Oh, boy. I see. Oopsie. <laughs> oh, no. Well, it's okay. You're, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Oh, whenever they, like, put the glaze on and everything, it's like, mmm. Yummy. 
Those, oh, you don't even want to know some of the Dojin that's out there. I could probably talk about it more on the other website, but... <laughs> There's whole entire sections that are like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, bye! Yeah, yeah they're... Uh... <clears throat> You, uh, uh, Sp Sphinx knows, like, it's it's stuff you can't really, like... It would be very uncomfortable to talk about. It's like, ugh. You're interested. Yeah, it's, it's morbid curiosity, but there's, like, some bad stuff out there, so... <laughs> Sphinx knows. We went to Doshin shops. <laughs> feel better. Oh, thank you, Nightmare. Thank you. <laughs> Crunch, that's a fucking log. <laughs> uh. You're, well, here's the th no, Japan's like still exciting and everything. It's just there's things that are just more acceptable there. That is, you know, <laughs> or acceptable to publish, I guess is maybe the more correct way to say, you know? Yeah, no, yeah, don't let it deter you. Like, tra traveling is still, like, a wonderful thing. Yeah. Just because, like, maybe something has, like, one bad aspect doesn't mean, like, the entirety is, like, bad, you know? Exactly, and they they are they are definitely curtained. No. Um, maybe what I can say is not safe for life. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that, maybe that's something I can s say. Yeah, not, not say for life. <laughs> Just not, 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 not say for work, not say for life. So much glaze. Oh, that's that's sexy. That's sexy cooking right there. Sexy baking. Sexy baking. Yeah. Oh, this is this is food porn. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so much variety. There's so much variety, yes. Oh, so good. Time for the glizzies. Oh, you placed it in that? <laughs> I will I will take a look after then. I'm I'm excited to see. Wait a minute. Uh, just, you know what? Wait a minute. No, I, no. There. <laughs> the, the other, the, the blue tube chat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blue tube chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're good. You're good. <laughs>
Well, looks like we got a lot of glizzies now. Yummy. Oh, those pieces of bread, the toasts are so thick. We all thought the same thing. We're like, oh my god, that's thick. <laughs> no, but honestly, like, Japan's, like, really fun to travel to. Um, actually, I think it's, um, I think it's Lotus. Um, she's in Japan right now. And she's like, oh, yes, all the people who said that Tokyo was amazing. Um, very true. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, people aren't just saying like, oh, Japan, you know, Japan's amazing. Like, you know, like she wants to stay there longer, you know, like it's, <laughs> it's true. The food, the food's great. Lots of food is cheap compared to like, um, food that's pretty expensive in like North America, at least. Like, um, I would say that there's a lot of things that are pretty affordable. Not every, not everything, but most things. You gonna buy a lot of fake rent order merchandise? Um, you better go soon. <laughs> I I feel like I went there like during when fake rent order was at its peak, and I always find that there's always like a new thing. Um. I think at the time, Sphinx, I think you would say like Nikkei and like stuff was like kind of the thing that was there, right? You know, um, I don't think blue, I don't think there was a lot of blue archive merch, but uh, I think there, there was a lot of Nikkei merch though. But I find that like each year there's always like something new. Hey there, blue. Hello, hello. So like, I think it was around. It was around like. 2019 like 2018 2019 2018 2019 i think fgo was at its peak oh yeah there was a lot of genshin stuff everywhere too yeah that's true there's a lot of genshin merch everywhere um but then there was like some years that it's like kantai collection was at its peak or love live is well actually there's love live i guess is always still pretty popular i guess but uh like love live was at its peak or like hmm. I didn't go to any convention. No, this was just in my town. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> no, I've never, I never went to a convention at all. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. I don't, I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I, um, I, uh, I, I go to work. I go home, I maybe go to the grocery store, maybe go to the gym. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no, I, I understand, I understand. I'm just, I'm just bugging you. <laughs> Write that down for traveling. Yeah, because um, I find that there's, there's still a lot of FGO merch, but I think it's a lot of secondhand stuff. It's not a lot of like new stuff, I guess, if that makes sense, you know? I think there's a different. Well, there's a difference between you know buying used goods and buying new things, um, in Japan, you know, because there's always kind of like a flavor of the month, like kind of thing, or a flavor of the probably that year, I guess, uh, for anime merch or gaming merch, I guess. Um. So when I went recently, there was not a lot of like FGO merch, I guess. It, it, yeah, um, Sphinx was right. It's like more so like Genshin and stuff. And then also there was some Nikkei. I think they're starting to do some Blue Archive stuff. Uh, I'll have to ask somebody if there's like some Blue Archive stuff. Muscle Dom Mommy? Oh, I hope so. I hope so, Fire Krillin. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna take care of the Dommy Mommy when the Dommy Mommy is sick? <laughs> 
Also, I hope you're having a good night, Fire Krillin. <laughs> oh, thank you, Flying Ninja. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you volunteer. <laughs> you, if you can't get Toki, you'll get a standee. Oh my god, I freaking love Toki. I tried to roll for her banner. I, I couldn't get her. Uh, she's so freaking cute. She's a blonde Komi. She's so adorable. <laughs> Orange and coffee? Oh. Oh, yummy. Oh, that's nice. How's the money compared to North America? But what wait, what what do you mean the money? Uh what do you what do you mean? Um I find that ho hotels hotels, food, and a few other things are usually pretty affordable. It's usually the traveling part, like the air travel is expensive. Like actually just getting there is expensive is the thing. You can get her bunny version. Oh no. Want some chili dogs? Sucking down a chili dog. What song was that from again? Da 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 Sucking on a chili dog. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Sucking down a chili dog? Oh thank you, yeah. Oh, they're all getting decorated. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mace. Thank you. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Ah. <laughs> uh. The chili dogs. A little ditty about Jack and Diane. Two American kids growing up in the heartland. Jackie's gonna be a football star. Diane's every Tom back seat of Jackie's car. Sucking on a chili dog. Sucking on a chili dog 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 Chili dog Sucking on a chili dog Sucking on a dog Sucking on a chili dog Chili Sucking on a chili dog Sucking on a doll, sucking on a chili doll, sucking on. Oh, let's 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 do it all together, everyone. Ev all together. Sucking on chili doll, sucking on a dog, sucking on a chili doll, sucking on chili, sucking on a doll, <laughs> sucking on a chili doll, sucking on chili doll. A little ditty about Jack and Diane. Two American kids sucking on a chili dog. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for humoring me. <laughs> as soon as you guys said chili dogs, I'm like, no. No, no, I was just thinking about that song lyric. <laughs> Yep. Video video link? Uh, I will give you the video link, sure. Wait, which wait, which one? Th this one or ch sucking on chili dogs? <laughs> wait, which one? <laughs> oh, that looks that looks so nice. Also, um when you asked about like Japanese money, wait, what did what did you mean by that? Because like, so like for example, one of these is like three twenty four. So like 
maybe three dollars american maybe cheaper you know like that's affordable i think i think if this was canada that would probably be ten dollars probably probably <laughs> good evening good evening hello <laughs> hmm oh but then it would yeah so you you move the decimal over like two two basically like roughly so if you think about um what the price would be for something in japan you move the decimal over by two so for example this would probably be like roughly three dollars or maybe under because of like your conversion for the u.s you know yeah oh for can oh god for canada this would be like ten dollars or something yeah <laughs> You want you want you want the chili dog one? Okay, I'll give I'll give you chili dog. I'll give you sucking on chili dog. <laughs> there you go. Have have sucking on chili dog. <laughs> US was about like 75 cents. Oh, you guys are so lucky. Yeah. I think um our Canadian dollar was a little bit above the yen at some point, but yeah. Yeah. You guys you guys have a good conversion rate. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to hear the succubus is sick. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I am almost better. Uh, this is this is making me feel better too. <laughs> it feels it feels good to laugh. I'm sweating a lot. <laughs> I'm sweating by laughing a lot. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, and then they finally got to open. So they started at two in the morning, and this is okay. They're opening at 7.30 in the morning. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's laid out so nicely. Oh, that's so yummy. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I will have to get some more water in a bit, though, because uh, I did have a little bit of a coughing fit because <laughs> um, <coughs> I, I drank the water wrong. <clears throat> All that work in five hours. Oh. I wonder... Oh, I love that they had apple pie and, like... <laughs> they have apple pie, like, written with, like, that. Wait, okay, wait. I kind of want to test my Nihongo. I want to see if I can try to guess what some things are. Uh, okay, let's see. Now, the thing is, though, I wouldn't know what some of the things would translate to, but maybe if it was in um, Katakana... Cream, cream, uh, cream. Oh my gosh, it's kind of hard when it's handwritten. Cream, pisheru, 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 shoko. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't really see that part though. Cream something. There's cream something, at least. <laughs> also, cream. Amarin? Amarin? Whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, almond? Almond? Al Amarin? Oh, almond. Ah! <laughs> when you have to try to guess what the... Maybe what the katakana is saying? <laughs> I guess it would be like cream almond then? Okay. Hmm. Then what else do we have here? Oh, let's see. Saru so oh oh I don't know. I don't know if I can say that. I don't know. When you can read it, but then you're just like, I don't know what that would be though. Rapu <laughs> Rapu do hmm? Rapudoku. 
Lap dog? Wait, what? What does that mean? <laughs> Lap dog? <laughs> oh, it's like rap. Maybe rap dog? Like wrapped dog? <laughs> Uh, hey there, Ignatius. Hello. How am I feeling? I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm feeling a little bit better now. <coughs> yeah, wrap, but in a hot dog bun, like a wrap dog, maybe. And then there's um, let me see, hotel. Yeah, hotel. I guess. Kasu. Kuto to. I guess it would be like custard probably or something. I don't know. No. Hot it's hot kasu koto? I don't know what the, or kuto or kuto. I don't know. I know it's hot. <laughs> I know it's hot. I know it's hot. <laughs> um cutlet maybe? Maybe. Uh no, here's the other thing too. Japan likes to shorten things. So like, for example, if you were to refer to something as a cassette player, I learned this in Animal Crossing actually when I played Animal Crossing in Nihongo a little bit. Apparently a cassette player is called a kasa because they shortened it, but it's still in katakana and it's weird. <laughs> so they'll just shorten things just because they feel like it. <laughs> Oh, he just finished, um, Termania. Oh, I've been trying to avoid his live streams because, oh, man. I'm gonna have to watch all his live streams after. <laughs> Good for him that he beat it, though. Wait. Did he actually just, like, beat it once, though? Or did he beat, like, doesn't it have, like, 20-something endings or something? Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, if you ever see this kanji, it means big. <laughs> and I think this means so like big person. So this is an adult. It's big. It's big. <laughs> so you can remember that kanji is big person, adult, big person. <laughs> Choco pan? Oh, so like a big a big chocolate um bread. Big cho big chocolate bread. <laughs> yeah. Well oh sorry, it's not big, it's an adult chocolate bread. It's for adults. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big it's it's a big person's chocolate bread. <laughs> Hello, happy padudu. Oh yeah, we're gonna see like a whole bunch of more padudus now. Happy padudu padudu. <laughs> <laughs> oh those look so yummy actually something that i've always kind of wanted to try is like whenever we get the crepes there's an option to get a savory crepe and i never go for it but i always just want to get the sweet ones but they always show that there's like like ham and cheese and lettuce and everything. <laughs> and I'm always like, I don't I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh he's oh he's at two thirds left of the game. Oh okay. Oh he's got an entire two thirds left of the game. Okay, that's fair. Oh yummy. Th takeaway sandwiches too. Oh, hello. Hey there, Gundam. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, Japan love. Oh, they know how to do egg salad sandwiches. I could eat those. I could eat egg salad sandwiches every day in Japan. <laughs> oh, you got your Mimic Tear to love. Oh, yes. Fuck yeah. Let's go Mimic Tear in Elden Ring. Oh. What do we have here? Ooh, ooh. Oh, have a good lurk, Alice Gamer. Have a good lurk. 
すごい伸びてるね A certain character that did nothing wrong. <gasps> Would they be my favorite character? I love the characters that do nothing wrong <laughs> in media. One of them being Homura. Homura did nothing wrong. Which actually, now that I remember about Homura, there's going to be that new Madoka movie, actually, which is really exciting. I haven't had any Madoka in like over, you know, like 10 years or something like that, so that'll be exciting for Madoka fans. Oh, yeah, you got the, you got the new standee. Yay! Oh, oh, that's exciting. I'm happy. Yes, this this stream is brought to you by all of the new merch that has been released. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yummy. So much cheese. You're still confused by the third Madoka movie? I would talk about it, but I don't want to spoil it for people. <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil the third Madoka movie. Oh, it's so fluffy. Oh, oh. It's so perfect. Uh, the first two movies you can kind of ignore because it plays out the exact same as the anime. The only one that's different is the third movie. Yeah, the only one that's different is the third movie. Oh. It's just as it is. It's just bread loaves. Oh my god. They're so soft and jiggly. <laughs> Oh, I was I was talking about that the bread loaves are very jiggly. <laughs> jiggly is also very jiggly. <laughs> You like these comfy streams? Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe this could be our tradition. The next time that I am sick, we do more of this. <laughs> On cue. <laughs> uh. Thank you. And Japan is just chef's kiss. There is a lot of good food options. Definitely. Ah. Oh, they're all decorated and cute. got some things that are popular that people already want them before like they're finished baking I guess <laughs> you know what that just reminded me of something I guess with the customer service and everything um when I bought a few of like my Japanese handbags um <laughs> um when they were packaging all of them and everything they told me to like sit down for a while and everything and I don't know I feel like <laughs> I feel like in North America, if you're just like buying a lot of stuff, you're just kind of like, you know, waiting for like, you know, the store people to kind of like package stuff and everything. And you're like standing and 
and they're and they're like no 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 like go sit down and like we'll bring it to you and everything and it's like oh mm -hmm. <gasps> you killed the fire gi giant congratulations hell yeah congratulations the fire giants is a bitch it's a brick of bread uh, it's a loaf of bread You can finally progress the story. Oh, that's like the one thing that was like driving me so mad because I was like, this is where I'm supposed to progress the story. Yeah. 70 kinds of bread. I'll try it up a little. リンゴになってきてるので、きっと美味しいだろうなと思って買ったのと、あとクロワッサン、クイニーヤマン、この3つで全部買いたくなるぐらい美味しそうだったので、ちょっとまた来たいなっていう風に思います。よいしょ。よ
hello everyone i am back hi hello hello i have some water i i have some water now yay <laughs> yay oh the game that's gonna be uh the video game award of the year i th i think it'll go to boulder's gate i think it'll go to boulder's gate 3 i'm pretty sure i think a lot of people um had their love ignited i guess for like rpgs and probably dnd with uh boulder's gate probably there was a lot of people that were talking about it, too, around, like, August and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm still sniffly. You miss- you missed me so much! Aww. <laughs> Aww, you're so cute. Aww, you're so adorable. Aww. My students missed me. Aww, that makes me so happy. <laughs> your coffee in a bit too oh let's just spread our cooties to everyone in, in the classroom <laughs> oh i am gonna try my best to play some elden ring tomorrow that's that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow i think i could probably be an okay gamer tomorrow probably but if we can't do elden ring then maybe we'll 
try to do something else, maybe. <laughs> oh, for like stream tomorrow, because like Friday, Friday is like, you know, 9, 9 p.m. stream time. <laughs> oh, there's a part of me that like, oh, I took a week off of work and then I was just like, man, I feel like it would have been fun to like, you know, stream more or something, but oh man, I can't. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't even move from bed or anything. I was just I was just lying down. Oh, oh my sinuses are all like bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> Oh, the body aches were absolutely horrible. Yeah, I I got rest. It it was it was kinda weird because uh there was one day there was one day that I was just like, oh my god, I can't, I can't literally do anything. I was just like, all I could do is lie down. I can't pay attention to anything. I can't look at any YouTube videos. I can't, I can't play video games. I have to just lay down. <laughs> like, cause uh, I just felt so out of it. <laughs> It's just, I, I understand, like, what it's like those days when it's like, oh, you just have to, like, rest your body and stuff, but... I just, I just feel so guilty when, yeah. It was still warm? I guess it was still warm. I guess it was still warm. <laughs> so I need you all the chicken soup. Oh, thank you. I had some, uh... I had some Lipton chicken... Uh, chicken noodle stuff today. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, crunch is actually... I think crunch should be, like, fully better by tomorrow, actually. Because, <laughs> uh, he felt a lot worse on the Sunday-Monday. And I felt really bad on the Tuesday-Wednesday. <laughs> You're surrounded by sick people. Oh man, I think it, I don't know what it is, but I remember even some of my VTuber friends got sick too, and I'm like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> yeah, I think a few other people got sick too. <laughs> oh. Cause I think Yozo was sick one day when she raided in during ASMR on Monday, and uh, I think a few other people were sick too. I remember right. <laughs> a new waifu outbreak? Oh man. I would love to catch more waifus. <laughs> ooh, ooh, yummy. Oh. So it gets mixed in. Oh. Interesting. Oh. Oh. Couldn't tell. I thought it was rice or something or like some kind of like big green thing. Bread that thinks about your body? Aww. <laughs> Wait. Bread that thinks about your body. Aww. That's so cute. <laughs> I love that. Oh. <laughs> I need that bread. I need that bread in my life. You know what I, you know what I was kind of thinking about? You know what? Crunch. You know what's kind of bullshit actually that I just thought about? You know what's bullshit? Sorry, I was watching an angry video game nerd um yesterday or the day before. We didn't catch COVID in Japan. We caught it in our fucking town. 
I just think that's kind of amazing. Like, because everybody's, you know, like wearing masks and like, like, you know, like all that kind of, you know, like being responsible. And then like, I feel like that's kind of like a sick joke. I don't know. <laughs> like, cause it's like this place that has like millions upon millions and millions of people, you know? I can't remember what, what's the population of Japan. Population of Japan. Population of Japan. 125.7 million people. Didn't even catch COVID in Japan. We caught COVID in our town. Fuck. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> you know what's bullshit? <laughs> I was watching Angry Video Game Nerd a few days ago. I was watching his, his Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde video because uh, it took him many years to defeat uh, the game. And I was really happy when he defeated it. <laughs> so I think that was like one of his first, that was like his first YouTube video or I think or something or, or one of the first if I remember right. So I think his second YouTube video was uh, the Ninja Turtle one. You got a new deck for magic? That's exciting. Is it commander or what kind of what kind of deck is it? Modern or modern or standard or <laughs> commander? Oh, it's command nice. That's exciting. I mean, it's exciting regardless when you get like a new deck. <laughs> Well, I guess that's what I was kind of getting at. Like, Japan is so busy. There's so many people. Like, I'm just kind of surprised, like, we didn't catch it there, you know? Like, yeah. You are at the Land of Dragons. Oh, Zilla, have fun. Have fun with the dragon area. That's uh that's pretty cool. <laughs> coming in hot stuff coming through <laughs> i just thought of that simpsons one <laughs> also welcome welcome Those are so, they look so good. I think it's because it's starting to become nighttime. I think my immune system's going down again. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna say like maybe 30 more minutes or so. <laughs> maybe, maybe 30 more minutes or so. We'll have like our hangout time. Yeah. What I, what I want to do. I, I want to read into Ibu if she goes live right at midnight my time, because I think that's when she's supposed to, uh... I think that's when she's supposed to go live. Because I think Ibu's doing something for Thanksgiving. I think she's going to be drawing something for Thanksgiving stuff. Also, we are halfway through the daily sub goal. I just realized that um, I could totally do something else uh, for the sub goal because um, I'm pretty sure you don't want my cooties if I'm uh, going to first base with you, you know? <laughs> Oh, 
こちらのお店来られるんですか。もう仕事の終わりとか、朝早朝に来たりします。あのどれぐらい通われてるんですか。もう七年八年。Wow, seven or eight years. That's incredible. いろいろいっぱい買いました。なんかおすすめのパンとか。いつもクロワッサンが好きで、いつも買いますけど、なんかこのバターサンドですかね。これも美味しいです。Oh, yum. Let's be real, chat would love your cooties. Take my cooties, take them, <laughs> take them all away from me. <laughs> you really want some bread right now? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> oh, they're presented so nicely. I love that. <laughs> Bijou. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. Ah. I'm trying to think of like some of the things I guess I've been doing during my uh during my time at home. Ah, uh, Crunch and I have been playing Super Mario、uh, RPG. I was thinking about playing it on stream, but、um, it's actually been kind of nice to play a game off stream, though, you know? <laughs> yeah, we've been playing、uh, Super Mario RPG, and it's been so nice. I think we have two more stars, we have two more stars left. And、uh, I'm looking forward to、uh, when we beat the game. Zucchini? Question mark? Ooh, yummy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so good. It has so much charm to it. And there's like that Final Fantasy IV music with、uh, that one boss. Except for, I think we'll wait till the end of the game to level up before we go、uh, defeat that boss.、Uh, there's that Final Fantasy IV kind of like boss that's in like that one room where he has like、um, crystals and stuff that also attack you. Yeah, the cool, cool X. Yeah, exactly. And then it sounds like. <laughs> It's the Final Fantasy IV battle music. And then it's kind of interesting because, like, they left him all pixely and everything because he's like, I don't know what it's like to be in the world of three dimensions, and he's all, like, pixely and cute. <laughs> You got lost in the Yakuza sauce? Oh, that, that, that's fair. I need to actually play a Yakuza game on stream at some point. <laughs> yes, I saw the, I saw the Atari、uh, pork one too. I saw it uncensored actually. I think he may have uploaded it uncensored on Screw Attack like years ago. Because I think he、uh, re uploaded it like, to be censored on YouTube. I think it was actually uncensored on Screw Attack like years ago. Because I remember I watched that video before. <laughs> hey there, Delta Mech. Hello, hello. Oh, trying to think of like which one to get. Oh. Oh, that looks nice. Ah, I can't get over the presentation. Hey there, Adora. Hey, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Adora, help me take my sick cooties away. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. How are, how are you doing? With what? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 when the dommy mommy can't have a dommy mommy to take care of them, I, 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 I need a dommy mommy to take care of me. <laughs> I'll just get you sick too. Damn. I'm sorry. Or no, you're, you're dommy mommy tomboy. Would, would you take care of a sick dommy mommy? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, no, don't don't even look don't even look at you. Oh no, <laughs> the door doesn't want to catch my cooties. 
I, I caught the ligma. I did. I did. I caught the ligma. <laughs> oh, this is... I just I just can't get over like everything looks so freaking delicious and like they do all the presentation well and everything looks so freaking good so freaking good but yeah I did watch uh, that one angry video game nerd uh, video uh, he had an uncensored one on screwattack.com I'm pretty sure I'm sorry I can't tell if I'm too loud or too quiet or Am I feeling okay? I am almost better. I'm almost better. I can at least sit up right now. Is and that that is a good thing. Yeah. There was, um, there was one day, I was trying to see if I could just like play a video game or watch YouTube videos. And I was sitting in my computer chair and my hips were so sore. I was like, I, I can't sit. I can't sit. Got a cold. I no, I got COVID. <laughs> no, I wish I had a cold. Oh God. I wish I had a cold. <laughs> oh, this is the first time I've had it too. Uh, <laughs> oh, happy, happy turkey day, janitor. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you have a good night. Take care. Take care, janitor. First time. First time. First time. Yeah. I've had like the the 5G um, implanted in me five times as well, so now I can't get my next 5G shot until two months from now, I think, or something. So I don't. Oh my god, my coworkers like some of my coworkers got it before they even had like the you know the 5G shots and everything. So uh, yeah, God, I remember my coworkers were saying like they couldn't even breathe and stuff. I don't know. I would not have wanted it when it was like, you know, several years ago. Does that mean you can't go for it? No, I'm going to test myself. I'll probably be, I'll probably have to go to work next week. I'll, I'm probably going to test myself tomorrow, actually. Ugh. Yeah, it also, yeah, it's fair. It does hit people in different ways. <sighs> it's okay i hadn't um you guys had thanksgiving today i had kfc two days ago <laughs> yeah yeah i i had some pretty yummy kfc crunch ordered it <laughs> happy thanksgiving <laughs> <laughs> you wish you had some KFC? Mm. We don't really have KFC very often, so that was that was a nice like, you know, change of pace, I guess. Have a healing turkey. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the healing turkey. Also, um, try not to cough challenge, uh, ruined. Uh, could not do it. 
僕は本当に何がしたいんだろうってなって、うん、だから人が喜ぶことがしたいんだと思ってそれが偶然今パンが作れるからパンをやってるだけっていうんですやっぱ人を喜ばすことが好きなので自分だけが満足で人が喜んでないやつは嫌なんで。イエーイ、He likes making people happy! すごい、本当にワインみたいな。この子たち、本当にいい香り、これ,これだけで作ってるパンも結構たくさんあって、何回も失敗したし、何回も気になくて作り直したしっていうので、で偶然この方法ができたときに、いやもう最高だなと思って、これをもう10年かけついでるんですけど、oh, wow. これがなくなったら、次、二度と同じ工房を作れる自信がないんですよ。Oh. パンパーニュとか<笑>一部のパンには使ってます。はい、イーストなしで。Oh, interesting.、Huh. I wish I could have given you my immunity. That's okay. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> Sugar from flour? I mean, it looks pretty different, like grain wise. Yeah, I was gonna say people that just don't know how to cook, probably. Is my throat tickly? Um, how can I explain it? A few days ago, my throat felt like glass, <laughs> like sharded glass, like, like, you know, um, right now it just feels really gross. <laughs> like anything that would go down would just be like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> But I am a, I, I I can actually you know consume things yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Oh, so many layers. A bacon dog. Oh. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, this is this is the food porn time. Yummy. You hate having a sore throat? Yeah, definitely. You wanna you wanna get bread? You wanna get that bread? <laughs> Let's all get that bread, everyone. We should watch like toys or games? Like we could. Um what's his face? Paulo in Japan, I think his name is? Or uh, he does a lot of videos that we've watched on the channel a few times. Oh, that looks nice. <gasps> Ooh. Wait. I like macaroni in the middle? Or, ooh. 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 <laughs> oh. Well, that was an hour, an hour and 10 minutes of unbelievable work of a baker from 2 a.m. Stay in the life of a local uh, Japanese bakery. Uh, I will give that to you guys. And I will also um, put that in the media share part of the Discord. Oh my god. Thank god this was on the other screen. <laughs> Marine's fat ass on my other monitor. <laughs> Oh, thank God that was on the other screen. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, you don't have to look at my, you don't have to look at my homework folder, everyone. <laughs> oh, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Ahoy! Ahoy! <laughs> okay, let's see. What else? Oh, uh... You guys want to eat Wendy? Oh, well, we just uh, watched that one. Let's eat Wendy's in Japan. Okay, so Wendy's is like a mix with First Kitchen. So Crunch and I have been to a Wendy's. They serve pasta. Yeah, they serve pasta. 
discord be wild uh, discord be wild and sometimes <gasps> oh you know what this is something that i've kind of listen okay i'm gonna be like one of those streamers please let me be one of those streamers for like a while for for a little bit okay i never appeal to you guys to try to get like the discord partnership i never did and the, there's no more discord partnership anymore <laughs> um I've I've never had to appeal to all of you to like try to get Discord community partner and everything, and I'm so happy that there's actually like no Discord community like um, partnership program anymore and stuff. This this is the reason why. Um, I remember at one point, at one point, I was like, oh, I wonder if I should just make a whole new Discord just to have like a safer work Discord and everything like that, and because people were like oh yeah maybe you should try to you know like have a separate discord to be you know safe and everything like it's it's like a safer work discord and i'm like yeah but i like the not safe for work channels and i don't really want to get rid of them and i'm kind of too lazy to get rid of them i know so many streamers who got rid of their not safe for work discords to get discord partnership okay and i and i will say i am so happy I am so happy for the folks that Nitro boosts our Discord because we get to have so many high quality uploads and everything. So um, give yourselves a pat on the back. Um, you guys are amazing. You, you, have an, you guys are an amazing community. We never had to delete our Not Safe for Work channels, ever. <laughs> we never got rid of the Not Safe for Work channels. <laughs> um no yeah you forgot the discord part yeah there were so many people who were trying to get discord partnership and it's like literally just like you don't even get anything <laughs> you counted as a double thank you thank you i did not appeal to the safe for work market everyone i love my degenerates thank you thank you i will bow <laughs> i love my degenerates so much <laughs> We never, we never want safe for work. <laughs> Not even once. <laughs> I, I almost considered it. I, I almost considered it. And then I was like, no, you know what? I love, I love our not safe for work, you know, stuff too, way too much. So <laughs> I never, I never sold out. I never sold out to the Discord partnership. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, I'm so proud of this community. <laughs> anyway anyway i just i just thought i would do I, I i just wanted to be that streamer for for a little bit i know i never sold out to, for the discord partnership <laughs> so the folks that i truly thank all the folks that have boosted our discord and it, who keep you know everything like in a nice like um high quality like <clears throat> for uploads and everything good for you good for you kudos to you guys community efforts no corporate censorship for me fuck yeah <laughs> oh hi miss tane Sorry, you're not feeling well. Here are some virtual hugs. Oh, thank you, Christopher Kelly. Thank you for the virtual hugs and thank you for the two months. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you for the two months. I'm happy that you're enjoying your time here. Aw, yay. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much. Thank you again. You miss the melon soda. I miss the melon soda as well. <laughs> we did it, chat. We did it. <laughs> Listen, I'm a streamer that only sells out when I think is worth it, okay? There's a lot of things I haven't sold out to, okay? <laughs> there's there's some things, there's some things, you know, you have to, like, strategically sell out, okay? I'm not about to give up, like, not safe for work, you know, channels and, like, pictures and videos and stuff. <gasps> oh, okay, so I had... <gasps> I had the boba... Yeah, so if you go to Wendy's First Kitchen, um, like, in, in Japan, you can get boba, you can get pasta. Oh, I got, like, habanera. It was so good. Also, Delta Mac, honey. 
Honey, hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> aw. Aw. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can you can you can clip it if you want to. Yay! I never sold out to the Discord partnership. Yay! <laughs> it, the program's gone now. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> also, the other thing about the Discord uh, partnership, they would actually force you to try to get your community to engage in like events and like talking and voice chats and stuff like that and like i'm not about to force you guys to like you know voice chat and like talk with people and stuff like like you don't like you don't have to do that because <laughs> i heard that that was like one of the requirements like you had to try to get like communities like to um talk a lot and stuff like that The only thing that we can do is like, you know, gaming stuff, movie nights and stuff. M mute your microphone and stuff if you want, you know, like that kind of thing. Like, <laughs> oh, exactly. Like, why would you force somebody to be social, right? It just doesn't make sense. I remember that I was hearing one creator that said like, yeah, they wanted to stop pursuing it for that reason because they were like, no, that's too uncomfortable. I don't want my community to like be forced to like talk if they don't want to, you know, like kind of like goes against the point of like building a community. Or at least a community that trusts you, you know? <laughs> You're seeing like the pasta and then you're like this yeah it's wendy's it's like mm. imagine going to wendy's and it's like mm, one matcha boba please and then it's like sir this is a wendy's it's like yeah i know i want my ice matcha brown sugar latte please <laughs> sir this is a wendy's yeah but <laughs> yeah but <laughs> oh it was so good Oh yeah, there. Oh yeah, there were shake fries that they had there too. Crunch, did you get the shake shake fries? I can't remember if you did. Do I have to sneeze? Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks so good, actually. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, that burger's so thick. Oh my god. The thick burger. Oh. Oh, well, let's go. Dis discount coupons. Discount coupons. Yay. Oh, melon soda float. Sphinx, you said you missed the melon soda. Melon soda float. Ooh. <laughs> You're drilly. <laughs> oh, that stew looks really good, too. Huh? That is so interesting. So it's beef patties. So I guess you don't have the buns? Oh, uh, no, no buns. Okay. <laughs> oh. The gruel you get in the US? <laughs> yeah, the gruel? <laughs> okay, you don't need patty for your... Oh 
Oh my god. Freaking crunch. I'll give you a beef patty for your buds. Oh my god, shut the fuck up! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I should have saw that coming. <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw you giggling. <laughs> For free? <laughs> okay, but not terrible though. Like, if you don't want to get your hands dirty, you can just eat with like the wrapper, I guess. So if you don't want to get your hands dirty, I guess that would make sense. Oh, oh. 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 That's I guess you could do that. Oh, I loved Wendy's first kitchen in Japan. <laughs> Now, here's the thing, um, that syrup that you get, like, in Japan for, like, at some of the coffee shops and stuff, like this stuff, I think I have, like, an allergy or, like, an allergic reaction to this, because it doesn't sit well with me every time I get, like, one of these, so I try to, I try to avoid these, actually. So if you go to, like, a coffee shop, or, like, maybe if you go to, um, like, a lot, like, a latte place, um, I guess if you have, like, a sensitivity to, like, syrups and stuff, um, opt out for putting these into your coffees or lattes and stuff um it just doesn't sit well with my stomach for whatever reason i don't know what kind of syrup it is it's like a clear syrup um whatever here just a minute let's see if we can see what the top is uh can't see what the syrup is Th thank you vampiro <laughs> Th thank you vampiro <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know what kind of syrup it is. It's like a clear syrup, though, that they they have them on the side. Um, you know, like when you're in like a North American coffee shop and stuff, there's usually like the packets of sugar and um, like sweeteners and stuff. So in Japan, they have um, these little syrup thingies. Yeah. It's like a, yeah, it's like a sweetener syrup. And this just doesn't sit well with me. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully it's what, whatever. Yeah, Vampiro, did you have the syrup? <laughs> um, but I'm usually okay with like if my drinks are like a little bitter and stuff. Like I don't, I don't really mind. Also, I appreciate you guys like, you know, hanging out with me today while I'm like so nasally and. <laughs> found the foreskin duo in Elden Ring. Good luck. Good luck with them. <laughs> um here's what you can do, Zilla. Sleep pot meta. Um eat some sleep sleep pots at them um and then do a very strong attack against them. <laughs> uh sleep pot meta works for some enemies. Uh they they do, it, it does work for them. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was clipped, um, oh, look at, look at that, oh, we got chicken, chicken at Wendy's. Not even once, oh. I'm, I'm so happy that, um, I was able to defeat them. Now I just have to focus on, uh, Meliketh. And I got him, like, to, oh, to so close to zero HP. But now I put on that, uh, uh, the tier thing that makes your mana do more damage. Or sorry, not, oh my god, not mana, that makes your magic do more damage, so. They were supposed to wake up, uh, but it's, but it's, but, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> I wanted to experiment and like, they, they did go to sleep, so. Uh, I'm assuming that they want, uh, oh, mini pancakes. <gasps> Those are cute. What the heck? Those are cute. 
I'm assuming that they went during different times to like get different meals. I'm hoping that they didn't eat this all at once. <laughs> oh my god, that's really cute. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. Because we're just talking a lot about food in Japan, I'm I'm not gonna shut the fuck up about this. Um The food portions in Japan are so good. I never feel that I am, you know, overly full or anything. It's like just the right amount of food. That's the right amount of pancake! <laughs> That's the right amount of mini pancake. If you're just if you just want to have a dessert, you know? Like the portion sizes are fantastic. <laughs> oh my god, they're soaked in butter? Damn. Oh, we can have it with the dessert. Oh, that's so great. Oh, yummy. Yummy. <laughs> oh my god, yum. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we, we got to see so much like food in Japan. We got to see that one Japanese penthouse for $12,000. $12,000 a month. Wow. <laughs> the, the ladies' reactions are good. Yeah, her reactions are cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. So, here, let me... Uh... Let me go to the other side. Uh, I will come over here now. Yay! Oh my gosh, this. Oh, there we go. I was like, it's it's it was becoming so jiggly on me. <laughs> I think it's about time that we wrap up because it's been been four hours. I can't I can't believe it's been four hours. I didn't even like. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm turning. <laughs> I didn't even- I didn't even realize that it's been like almost four hours. I'm happy that we got to hang out. Thank you for spending time with me even though I was very nasally and... I don't know. I felt that... I feel like I was just kind of gross. <laughs> but I- I think there was like a few new people. There was a few new people that came by so hello- hello new people. I hope that my... sick... COVID, I don't know, voice didn't deter you, I guess, from watching. <laughs> I I promise I will sound better. Maybe not tomorrow, but like in another stream. <laughs> I will, I will be better soon. <laughs> yeah, I hope everyone has a good night. Um, I don't know if I, I don't want to wrap up like immediately because my plan is to, I want to raid into Emu whenever she goes uh, live. I'm going to, I'm going to keep that open. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Vampiro, do you, do you got to get checked out? Do you got to get, do you, uh, is is the syrup making you like act up or something or <laughs> oh she just she just went live oh see like my timing my timing is so good my timing is so good everyone <laughs> i know that um she has like some fun um degen artists at thanksgiving stuff uh happening today and also i haven't i haven't raided emu in so long and like i i, I love emu emu is wonderful um, she, we were talking, you know, we were talking about, like, D-Gen stuff and everything earlier, everyone. Eam was a really good friend. She's an artist friend, she's an artist friend and a VTuber friend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think what the plan is going to be for tomorrow is, um, if, if I am, if I'm feeling okay to play a game, I think uh, I would like to play some more Elden Ring at 9 p.m. EST. I kind of I kind of messed up actually. I messed up uh, with my schedule. It wasn't supposed to be five o'clock EST. It was supposed to be nine o'clock EST. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> um, if I am feeling okay enough, I would like to play Elden Ring. But I was thinking maybe we can play an ah maybe we can play. 
an FMV game. Maybe we can play an FMV game. It would be like watching a movie, but we're still like playing like a game, right? So maybe we can play an FMV game for on Friday. <laughs> yeah, I think that I think that would be great. So I'll I'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. It, whether it's Elden Ring or or an FMV game. Um, FMV as in like um like those movie kind of ones where it has like the the quick time events and everything. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to remember what the rest of the schedule is. I think Saturday. Wait, well, I need to look at my own schedule again. I need to look at my own schedule again. What am I? What am I doing on Saturday? <laughs> what was I doing again? Uh oh, Discord movie night. Discord movie night is on Saturday. Uh, it's at 9 p.m. It's at 9 p.m. EST. It is for Twitch subs and Bluetooth subs and Nitro boosters and patrons. That is going to be for uh, Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are deciding my raid message. I'm going <laughs> to... Sicky, sicky raid. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Emu does know I'm sick. We were on... We're, we were in a voice call yesterday. <laughs> she knows. She knows. <laughs> um, Let's see. Uh, and then I think sun Sunday might be a rest day, but we'll see. Hold, I'll see how I feel. Maybe we'll, we might do something on Sunday, but then our our week will start all over again for Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, uh, make sure make sure to check out uh, the merch. Um, I have new merch. Uh, it's pinned in the chat and also right there. There is a new Daki, there is a new acrylic standee, and there is a shaker cup that I drew. I drew the shaker cup. I did that. I did that. Uh, so check out, you can check out socials here, check out all these fun, cool links, and go check out the Varia Buy podcast. Um, when Crunch and I are not sick anymore, Crunch, Emu, and I are going to be recording another episode of the Varia Buy podcast. We still we still want to ask Emu all the fun things she did in Japan and everything. So, <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go raid. Let's go raid uh, my wonderful friend Emuchi. There we go. I think the raid should be. There we go. <laughs> so it looks like you got you guys already decided the raid message. You guys decided the raid message. We're doing sicky raid. Is is that what we're doing? Succubus, succubus, sicky raid. <laughs> this succubus with this sick beat. <laughs> um, I hope that everyone has a good night. Thank you, thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you tomorrow. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. And I guess uh we'll we'll play a little things by ear after that. So yeah. You guys will hear updates from me regardless. So um I will give you a little bit of my cooties. Mwah. 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 <laughs> Take care. Take care. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Good night, good night. Don't let the succubus bite. Matane, matane.